All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. This is a Christian Prince with you. And again, happy Thanksgiving for people around the world, not only for American, because as we always, as a Christian, believe that we should be always thankful for the Lord for what we have, even if it is little. Uh, you notice the title today is Live Debate Muhammad Hijab Shamsi. I mean, I should add all the names. Maybe, maybe one day we can get them tempted to come and they have the courage to debate us. But do you think that day is going to come? Hmm. Before we start, <clears throat> I want to share with you some amazing miracles. Hmm. Airplanes. I, I just is just a response for one of you. He said that Muslim from Nigeria, hello Nigeria, they said that airplanes, birds, I mean everything cannot fly in the top of the Kaaba. And by the way, <clears throat> by the way, I want to say to the Muslims, are you sure? Muslims, are you sure? Who is a Muslim is willing to call us and tell us why the Kaaba? No airplanes, brother. And why no birds, brother? They don't fly over the Kaaba, brother. And are you sure, brother? <laughs> Who is the Muslim Abdul? Hold on, let me be sure that my Skype is on. I mean, the Muslims, they come with things nobody can even think about it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Muslims are coming from different galaxy, for sure. There's no question about that. And if you go, what are there? If you go, look. Look at this one. Miracle of Allah. In bird brain, brain toward the Kaaba, brother. <laughs> oh boy. Mm. I'm drinking coffee if somebody wants. Catholic react. Why cannot airplane birds fly over the Kaaba? Supposedly, this guy is a Catholic. Just to explain to you the situation, brother. And the situation get more complicated if it's a Catholic. I mean, it's not just a Protestant or like Orthodox. No, no, this is a Catholic, a very, very, very aggressive, the crusade, brother. So a Catholic, brother, when he heard this, brother, he hold his beard and he was saying, hmm, why, why, brother? The birds don't fly over the Kaaba and not even airplane, brother. <laughs> oh boy. Thank God I'm not a Muslim. Oh Sipo, they lost their mind. My Skype is open. If somebody wanna call me and he's a Muslim, he have the courage, the knowledge. Either he proved to me what he is talking about, what the Abdul talking about, or he have to admit that you Muslims fabricate lies and it is not true. A brother, look at this brother. It's not only Catholic brother, who they are amazed brother with the miracle of the Quran and the miracle of the Kaaba brother. Look at this, this girl, she is Hindu brother. This girl is a Hindu. Actually, she looked like a Hindu. I have to admit, she's a Hindu. I mean, and look, all of them they hold their chin. Do you see where they touch when they like when they think about Islam? I mean, by the way, I do that same too. I put my finger there around my like. Wow, hmm, brother. Why you Muslims fabricate lies? 
the cab and not only birds they fly in the top of it they poo, do poo poo in the top of it and you muslims you clean this the, the, the roof of the kaaba every few months from the poop of the birds the brother don't you know brother that there's a guy his name is al qurmuti brother he destroyed the kaaba and he stood in the middle of the kaaba and he was screaming saying who is where is allah allah where is your birds there's in the Quran a chapter, it's called the chapter of the elephant. Chapter of the elephant. You can go right now in YouTube and search for destruction of the Kaaba. Destruction of the Kaaba. Or you can call any Muslim scholar or you can post a question for Fatwa website and they will admit that the Kaaba was destroyed many, many times. Many, many times. So what birds? Look, look at this video here. The Mahdi destruction of the Kaaba. See the light, brother? The light is coming from underneath the Kaaba and the Mahdi is coming. Here, this is a video actually. This is my translation. This is Sheikh Muhammad Hassan explaining, and he is saying to you in this video, it's a short video, how the Kaaba was destroyed and how the guy who destroyed the Kaaba was screaming, saying, Allah, where are you? Here we go. I'm destroying your Kaaba. Proving that Quran and Islam is false because the Quran have a chapter. It's called the chapter of the elephant Where it's claim that an army of a Christian from Ethiopia came to destroy the Kaaba and Allah he sent birds which is f-16 True story al Qurmuti he destroyed the Kaaba He screamed in the middle of the Kaaba after destroying it He took the black stone and he was screaming saying hey Allah. Where is your birds? <laughs> What a liar. What a fake God. And then he took the black stone and he made it a poopoo stone for more than 21 years. And Allah could not get the black stone back. Until the Muslims, they collected a lot of money and they bribed the guy. They contacted the king of Egypt, the caliphate of the Fatimiyin at that time. And they asked him, please, can you be the, mid like the, the middleman between us? So he can return the black stone to us and not only that the guy he did not even return the true black stone and I can prove it easy First of all the black stone today the Muslims they have is a glued together which means it's destroyed totally You can go right now and search in YouTube glowing together the black stone or repairing the black stone Repairing the black stone they put wax between the stones I think there is uh, I forgot uh, I think eight stones eight or five something like this small tiny stones this is the only thing is left from the black stone the guy who took it he destroyed he gave it to them back pieces small pieces and the Muslims they say there's a story says that the black stone uh, the Muslim are wondering why when this guy he took the black stone the black stone was heavy but when it came back to Kaaba, it was light. Guess why, guys? Why the weight of the black stone change? When, when the black stone before used to be very heavy. Why it became light? They say because the black stone was so happy to come back. <laughs> True story. If you are Abdul, call me, my friend. Call me. Don't tell me I am Abdul. Just call me. <laughs> Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? So the question here, why, why Muslim they fabricate stories? I mean, what the point? Why you do that? I will tell you why you do that because you are desperately looking for a miracle in your religion and you cannot find one as simple as that otherwise there is no human being he will do such a fabrication because this is very embarrassing I will show you something. 
Let me find it first. Sure, sure. There is a Muslim. He is a, he is a Quran only follower. He want to debate me. Sure. Sure. No problem. He's afraid to mention hadith. <laughs> sure, sure. <clears throat> <coughs> in the top of the Kaaba, sorry, in uh, you know the, the Quran. If we go in the Quran, call me, my friend, call me. Quran only. Are you going to call now or tomorrow? But by the way, anyone, any Muslim would like to call me, please take a permission from your parents. If you are if you are not over the age of 70, you better call your parents. Ask them if it's okay to talk to Christian friends. I am not responsible for anything that's happened to you during the debate. Or let us say the conversation. I cannot call it a debate. Uh, be sure. You are sure on what you want to do okay uh, 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 <clears throat> are you going to call me my friend I think is thinking twice. The Muslims, they make a lot of lies about the Kaaba, about Islam, about blah, 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 blah. But always their lies getting busted so easy. And by the way, uh, most of the lies getting busted by ex-Muslims not by even by us other Christians as an example this is the grave of Muhammad this is the grave of Muhammad and this is in the top of the grave do you see the cable in the top of the grave you guys you know what is that right that cable which is attached to the the crescent moon in the top This is for Thunderbolt protection. If the thunder hit it, and there's you don't have a Thunderbolt to a cable, the thunder will destroy the building. It can take it down in a second. Now, the problem here is not in this. The problem here that Muslims, they claim, That Allah he used thunder only to punish people who he don't like. You know, by the way, I don't mind to believe that God can can kill anyone he wants by thunder. Why not? I mean, he can use nature to destroy people, the same as what happened in the flood of Noah. That is not the topic. The topic is if Allah he only hit the one he wished to hit. Which means you will. This is not a natural thing happening. Only he hit the one he wished to hit, and this is in the chapter of thirteen, verse number thirteen. Why this guy is not calling? I think he said he's a tate. I will call him. I think he changed his mind. I think he changed his mind. Do you debate Quran only?
All right. No problem. Look like you're on the way. As long in chapter 13, verse number 13, and let me open the Quran for you. Confirm that this is something, actually the thunder is, is, is not even a, a natural uh, uh, electricity. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's not electricity in, in Islam. The thunder in Islam is an angel. If you go to chapter 13, verse number 13, it says, Wa yusabbihu radu bihamdihi wal malaikatu min khifatihi wa yursilu sawaiqu fa yusibu biha man yasha. When, when the Jews, they ask Musa to show Allah, Allah, he hit them by a thunderbolt. In a second, they've been destroyed. As simple as that. Do we have any Muslim here to confront to us or to disagree about what I am saying? Is it true that the thunder is an angel in Islam? Is it? Angel is coming. Do we have any Muslim? Hmm? Any Muslim? See, the Muslim, they might say to you that this is a metaphorical thing. If this is the case, I will not be even speaking about it. It's not a metaphorical thing. Oh, we can prove it easy. Who is a Muslim is willing to call us? And as you see here, it says, and the thunderbolt, Allah, he launches the thunderbolt and submit, it, submit with it whom he will. And who is the one who do that? Is the one who dispute concerning Allah. So you debate, you debate about Allah, Christian Prince. Allah will hit you by the thunder. This is why, by the way, when I walk in the street, I always I wear thunder hat. And I connect uh, the hat to a cable, run in the ground, to protect myself from the anger of Allah. My friend, if you are a Muslim, call me. Don't tell me I'm a Muslim. What I would do with you? I'm going to save you for snack or what? Call me. You are a Muslim. You are welcome. Call me. Any Muslim would like to call? Well, here we go. Somebody he shared with me the concern. There is a person here. He, you know, he wear a thunder pant. That's a new discovery. I never thought about this. Any Muslim would like to call us? Please, guys, invite your friends. Everybody, invite your friends. And let us see if we can have some Muslims to call us. Who is a Muslim want to call us? And he want to prove to us that we are wrong. That Islam is really a weird religion. All the fabrication the Muslims, they say, like as an example, there's no birds fly over the Kaaba, and I can show you tons of videos right now in YouTube about birds flying over the Kaaba. Not only that, my friend, the Awax, the American Awax, is the one who protect Mecca and protect all Saudi Arabia. Not only that, my brother, my brother. Actually, there is a video. Hold on, hold on. There is a video here. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, hold on, hold. This guy, guys, this guy is something. 
if I play for you the video here, you want you you, you should uh, if you uh, if you watch this video. This guy he claimed the following. Let, let me remember, I watched this video many years ago, but I, as I remember, he said that in the year 1969, if I am not mistaken, the American they went which which guys which year the American went to the moon. Which which year is it 69? Just to be sure, hold on. American went to the moon. One way ticket to the moon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it is. I was right. 1969, brother. In the year 1969, brother, the American brother they went to the moon, brother. And guess, brother, what happened? This is live on TV, and there is millions of Abdul are watching this scumbag saying the following: that the American when they went to the moon, brother. They saw brother an X-ray coming all the way from the Kaaba brother going all the way to the end of the galaxies. Nobody knows where, but for sure it's connected to Allah brother. A brother, when the American arrived there, a brother, and they saw that brother, they published this in the internet, brother, for 21 days, brother. For how many days? For 21 days, brother. A brother Abdul, in the year 1969, brother. There was no internet for public brother. And then he said, and when they saw that a lot of people converting to Islam after they saw this discovery, they, they published, they saw, an, they saw an X-ray coming from the Kaaba. When millions of people, they saw this, the American, the CIA, they hide it from the internet, brother. But my friend, there was no internet 1969. The internet, American internet was a project for the defense for the Pentagon not for public they publish it for the public for 21 days and then because they were afraid a lot of people they see this and they will convert to Islam they took it off okay my friend brother brother here we go you Muslims now you own a lot of satellite made by the American made by the Japanese made by the Chinese made by the Czech Republic brother show us the x-ray only American can see the X-ray, brother. Only American they saw the X-ray. Nobody can see it, brother. Only American. Not only that, brother. This guy he he claimed that in in the Kaaba, in the in the zone of the Kaaba, the graffiti there is zero. Unbelievable. My brother, if the gravity around the Kaaba is a zero, brother, that's mean you Muslims, you will be flying in there. You will not be walking in the ground, brother. <laughs> I love it. Unbelievable. Brother, it must, be, it must be a true story. We have to admit, I mean, come on. Just be realistic here. Be realistic. When a Muslim he says something to you, it must be true, especially when he swear by Allah. Especially when he say this is a true story. Millions of Abduls watching this liar, and nobody of them says to you, "Come on, come on, man, this is really too much." Hello, hello. Tons of lies, and when you are blind, you believe anything. And when you are a fool, anybody can fool you. Now, who is the Muslim? He wanna call me to fool me. I am here to challenge you. Who is the Muslim wanna do it? It looked like we have a Muslim calling. Hello, CP. How are you, brother? I'm fine, my friend. Yeah, um, I told you last week. I don't know if you remember that. You see, it's hard to remember. You see, because I'm very old, I'm very old. <laughs> yes, my um, friend. How can I help you? Uh, well, let me refresh your memory. You were telling me about. Uh, you're telling me that you're a fisherman. Uh huh. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, but I but I say that to everybody. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You, you pick up the wrong sentence, my friend, to refresh my memory. Anyway, my friend, it's, it's okay. I, I I remember your voice now. Okay. Okay. Yes. Well, I guess the reason I'm calling is, um, I you recommended me to finish uh to read the the Gospels, right? So I'd done I'd finished John and Matthew, and I'm like midway through Luke right now, and that's where your your damn reference came from. It was from Luke, right? The beginning of Luke. Okay. Uh, are you are you the person who decide to leave Islam? Yes. All right. All right. Wonderful, my brother. So how yes. you how much you are enjoying it? Um, well, I'm learning a lot, but I would also say like there's so much information out there. Um, even though I by now because I finished two of the the Gospels, I'm midway through the third. I know most of the stories now. Um, so I'm I'm fairly familiar with that now. Um, I'd read a little bit of. Uh, the gospel before but it was more to just like criticize it wasn't to actually learn so mm -hmm. there's there's a lot of information yeah you know I advise you when you read you see this is uh, I don't know if, for me this is how I read things anything not only the gospel when I read especially something have to do with uh, history uh, people uh, um, something happened let us say uh, for real in order to understand better you better imagine yourself living there you know what I mean? Don't yep. don't don't read the story and say, okay, Jesus said, Peter said, uh, he said, she said. No, imagine yourself. You are there. You know, if you have a if you have a, the ability to do so, and I think you can. And then imagine yourself in the present of this person. Like let's say when we see that Jesus making a speech in the mount, or Jesus making the miracle of feeding people from the fish, and the, or Jesus he making the blind see. Imagine yourself just right there and then go over the conversation this way you can understand it and you can feel it mm. the problem is yeah. most of people when they read any book including the quran which is a very funny book they read the words but they don't try to feel the words because we saw you know there is there is many form of energy in our life and one of them is voice this voice once you used to be a voice of a man and then he said something and then it became words written in a book now we cannot reach the voice because nobody record the voice of muhammad to feel his energy how evil it is or how good it is but we have the words which he claiming that it is coming to him through him through an angel his name is jibri through a god his name is allah so try to feel the energy of the words and try to understand the words and this is the, be the best way to un understand any book don't just read Mm. Is what I'm yeah. saying is hard to to uh, should I explain more? No, that, like, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, like if you give me any verse in the Quran, you will see right away I read it differently from the way a Muslim here read it. Yeah, actually, can I ask you about that? Sure. So you, when we when I had spoken to you on the phone, we were talking about the um, Surah sixty two, the one about semen in the backbone. Remember that, right? Uh, <laughs> I think you talk about it sometimes. So I, I was looking at that and I'd opened the tafsir of uh, Ibn Kathir. Mm -hmm. And so I was thinking if I show this to like my dad, because he's a, he's a devout Muslim. Mm -hmm. If I show him, if I show him that there's no way any rational, any rational person is going to think that and think that that's from God. Right. Yeah. So I, at first I showed him the verse and he doesn't speak Arabic. So he has an English translation open and the English translation is a very soft. It's not even Yusuf Ali or one of the popular ones. It's one of the new ones. Mm -hmm. And it's, it doesn't even say backbone or ribs. It says loins, and uh, it it doesn't say what it's what it's supposed to say. Basically, so I was like, what, "Which scholar do you want me to open Tafsir so you can see that this is talking about mm -hmm. uh, from women?" And so I opened Ibn <laughs> Kathir, and then he's like, "Well, I don't trust Ibn." I was like, "How do you not trust Ibn Kathir? Like, who are, if you don't trust Ibn Kathir, who are you going to trust?" Right. So, what would you say to that? Well, you know, this is the point of denial, and I always I witnessed with Muslims. The second I show them how stupid the teaching of Islam is, they right away they jump to denial and say, "I don't approve this guy. I don't approve that guy." So what we will do now? We will approve only the one make us feel happy, not the one who tells the truth. You know, the yeah. Muslims, Muslim is the same as someone he have a cancer, but he don't want the doctor to tell him you have a cancer. You know, he wanna yeah. go to a doctor says to him you are fine. Okay. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. They want somebody to lie to them because always when you say the truth, it hurt. Sure. You know, not always the truth is something you like. Uh, somebody might say to you, you don't look good. 
like me as an example you know and if somebody says to me you don't look good I feel sad but I mean this guy he is being truthful with me a man I'm look at me I will like look at the mirror I get I get scared that's why I don't have mirrors at, at home so uh, uh, people like to hear what they like to hear which mean don't tell us what is negative about us or our belief or about who we are tell us something we like to hear this is why in this world today the more you are a hypocrite the more you are successful you know you are gay yeah. with the gay you are a Christian with the Christian you are a Muslim with the Muslim you are a Hindu with the Hindus you are an atheist with the atheist you are no one simply you have to be no one and this is the only way everybody like you the second you say and you speak your mind it's the same second people they will start stoning you and don't like you okay yeah so it's normal but you need to ask him then okay uh, what about all other scholars I mean the Ibn Kathir is bad what about Ibn Abbas yeah. and I mean <laughs> exactly no because that, that exactly because if you open those stuff here it says the same thing mostly <clears throat> it is the stage right. of denial but my friend keep trying and showing him more and more verses you know because of course there's tons of verses in the Quran stupid verses yeah. and there is no way you see do you know do you know how the the, the drop of water how th soft it is drop no drop of water is very soft I mean it doesn't kill you right if somebody's uh, throw a oh, drop sure, of water sure. but if I put yeah. your head under a drop of water for a long time the drop of water will make a hole in your head even if it's a rock yeah if you go like if you go go to an like an old house where there's a, a faucet is dripping water God knows for many years nobody fixing it and there is a rock underneath and then you will find that there is the, there is a damage in the rock or in the in, in whatever down down there uh, the same as the river you know like uh, the, the the water destroy all even mountains around around the beach so water is very soft but in the same time can destroy even the hardest rocks so consider yourself the you know the the, the soft water don't give up you will get there yeah. you know you will get there it is, it is about it's about you being consistent and being truthful and honest and don't lie don't lie ever to to prove somebody some, to someone that he's wrong don't lie don't lie about Islam says Islam is bad just because oh I want to convert you to Christianity no don't ever do that we don't do that that mm -hmm. you see one of the reasons one of the reasons many people leave Islam because they notice I, I don't know if you were hearing me about the Muslim line that there is no birds flying over the Kaaba there's no airplane and etc and all so, the lies then right away you know by doing those lies the Muslim they lose uh, the credit of being honest you know yeah. you know you know the story of uh, of the shepherd and the and the and the wolf of course okay so okay the wolf the wolf is coming people come to help him okay first time second time third time nobody come because he's a liar nobody can trust him even if it's really real so the Muslims they tr they think they are defending their cult by lying and fabricating what is called miracles but the fact they are hurting Islam more and more yeah. because if I am a person who belong to a true God why I want to make a false lie to prove the true God It doesn't make sense yeah if God is a true God the one I follow the one I worship he can make a miracle he is capable he does not need me to lie to fabricate a miracle does not exist in order to make somebody believe in it yeah this is why I believe that anyone who have a little logic he should understand that Islam must be a scam otherwise should not be supported by scam yeah the, a lot of them get brainwashed though no like no it's not about brainwash you see this is not about brainwash this is about being being dishonest Islam make you dishonest because yeah. because let us say I'm brainwashed okay and let us say Christianity is brainwashed somebody okay make you believe that Jesus is God okay but there is no way in Christianity you are claiming that you are following Jesus let us say blindly hmm? but you've been taught to lie to make people believe in Jesus we don't do that yeah. Right, which means here in Islam we have a problem with ethic. Islam it changed your ethic from good to bad. Lying is approval approved. 
false uh, miracles is a proof. Uh, 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 tempting people to believe in something is a proof. Giving false answers is a proof. You see, when, when the Muslim, they debate a Christian, they try to make a mockery of them, taking advantage of you being nice, and uh, supposedly, no Muslim get upset. So, okay, what is the what is the answer? Like, you know, as an example, when this guy, he was debating David Wood, the job, yeah. all the Muslims were laughing, but the fact they should laugh at him because he is the one making mockery of his religion. Sure. You know? That's the whole Elijah thing. Yeah, but they, they take a side without thinking. I mean, take yeah. a side of what? I mean, uh, uh, this guy is a presenting Islam now, and look what he's doing in the stage. He looked like a monkey, acting like a kid, Saying stupid things, and none of you is upset. The Muslim should be the one is upset, but because ninety percent of them are uneducated, they think that this guy he is a smart. But what is smart about his answers? Nothing. Sure. They don't want to listen to the one who is is talking, even if he's a Muslim. As long as you are a Muslim, I, I will tell you. Once I went in a chat room. And you know the Muslim, the new Christian prince, he is an anti-Islam, right? Yeah. So I went in a, in a, in a Muslim chat room. Uh, they, he, uh, Christian prince, you are a liar, blah, 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 blah. And they're supposed to, they want to humiliate me now. The same as they want to do, they try to do with everybody. So they gave me the mic. And they were expecting me to say something bad about Islam. So I said, you know what? The prophet of Allah was so wonderful, man. He never lied. He never cheated. He never committed adultery and everybody in the chat room in the text he was saying liar liar christian prince liar <laughs> i said he never have sex with a child she is six years old everybody's saying liar liar muhammad never never kidnap uh, 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 women and raped them liar liar he did not rape sophia right everybody's saying liar i am saying good things about their prophet and being sarcastic for sure but yes. because they are not listening and then the admin he gave me a dot you know like this is a con to control to take the mic from you and he screamed at them he said you stupid even in our chat room he, he he humiliate our prophet and you are the one he said to you the prophet was a good man you said to him liar he said the prophet never rape aisha you say he's a liar you say he never killed people you say he's a liar even in our room he humiliate us and he, you know so because they don't listen in their mind you are a Christian prince. It doesn't matter what you say. You are a liar. They will say to you that word. It's like a program, you know. But nobody want to use his brain. So when you speak to Muslims, you are not debating them. They are programmed that this is a guy who don't he, he wanna he wanna put his stamp down. So whatever he say, I have to say to him, you are a liar. He called yeah. for me hadith. I say to him, you are a liar. He called for me Quran. He said to him, you are a liar. It doesn't matter what he say. He is a liar. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's good, man. Uh, well, anyways, I'm, I'll let you get back to your uh, your program. I'm sorry for interrupting. Yeah, my my friend, just be careful. I, I if in case you are married, put insurance about uh, on the backbone you have. You know, in case. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. Take it easy. All right. Bye. Take care. Take care. Bye bye. This is why I'm not married. This is a secret I want to share with you. Because I don't think my backbone is working. <laughs> That's sad. I wish I knew Allah before. And he told me about the backbone from before. If I know, I will not jump from the top of the trees like monkeys, brother. Allah, he knows better. Allah is the only one who knows where his sperm is coming from. I mean, who can prove Allah wrong? It's a proven, brother, scientifically, brother, if we ask Zachary Naik. Zachary Naik is a doctor, as you know. Brother Zachary Naik, how you explain to us that the Quran says that women have a sperm coming from the ribs, from the location of the necklace specifically, and men, they have a sperm coming from the backbone, brother. But at the top, there is a person, his name is the Christian Prince. And that guy, he always attack Islam. First of all, everything he said to you is absolutely a pure lie. The Quran doesn't say that. The Quran says that man have a sperm coming from the backbone and women have a sperm coming from the lips. And this is how we prove Christian Prince to be a liar. Thank you very much.
uh, brother but this is exactly what Christian Prince he said that the Quran says that don't don't ever try to fool me Christian Prince doesn't say that Christian Prince he said listen carefully Christian Prince he said that women they have a sperm coming from the ribs and men they have a sperm coming from the backbone I said this is not true it is the man have a sperm from the backbone and women have a sperm from the ribs brother but this is the same uh, brother are you stupid or what why you are not being truthful with me there's a huge different as an example in arabic we read it from right to left in english we read it from left to right and this is exactly the big difference but it's the same i mean if you say it is from the backbone for the man and the ribs for the women and he say from the ribs of the women and the backbone of the man is it the same hey brother you are very very much ignorant in philosophy everything make a different as an example if i say to you the rotation of the earth from the right to the left people will laugh at you brother this is science this is not a joke thank you very much any muslim disagree Who is a Muslim when I give us a call? Brother. I'm truly, truly, truly convinced that this is from God. Any Abdul? And you see the Muslims in Pakistan, Bangladesh. They are listening to Zakir Naik and he's like, he is God, man. This guy, he, whatever he say is true. And everybody, his mouth is open like, like, wow. Brother Zakir Naik, you are so amazing smart. Talk about the amazing of the Pharaoh and the Quran. <clears throat> okay, you know, why Muslims don't call me and choose their miracles? And let us see if any miracle they choose is it true. All the, I challenge them for all the miracles they do speak about. Who want to do that? Any Muslim? Any Muslim want to call us and tell us one miracle? Muhammad, he has no shadow. Hmm. By the way, the Quran speak about the shadow. Muhammad, he has no shadow. So why when he do poo-poo, the trees have to keep him in the shade? Because if you have no shadow, that means the, the sun cannot hurt you. Muhammad doing poo-poo and the trees keeping him in the shade. Why? Muhammad is doing poo-poo for how many hours? Because in order, like, let us say you sit under a tree. The shade with the tree is not going to go after five minutes. That's me, Muhammad is doing poopoo like for six hours or seven hours. <clears throat> hello? Yes, hello. Yes, my friend, how are you? I'm pretty good, how about you? Well, I'm just reading about the sperm proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. I'm sorry, what's your question? We are just reading here right now. The Quran speaking about the backbone. The backbone is the source of the sperm of the man. Okay. Do you believe in that? Okay. Is that what the ayah says? I mean, first of all, we have to find out if that's what the ayah says or not. Well, I don't know. You tell me. Only you the Muslim, not me. Well, can I ask you a question? Sure. And by the way, Isa, I'm glad that you are recording the call. Go ahead. Okay. So, <laughs> you have this issue with... Uh, I have a challenge for you, by the way. I, I have a challenge for you to, as long as you are recording the call, to post it in YouTube. Can you do that? Sure. All right. Go ahead. Okay. So, you have this issue with this the, with the ayat in the Quran that talks about um that the progeny of man you know it um it starts from the backbone of of adam, adam. i'm not sure what the ayat you're 
Adam, to to what Adam have to do yes. with this? No, according to your God, Allah created the 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 sperm from the shoulder of Adam. Okay, and which ayah is this? That, that you know, no, this is this is not an ayah. This is in the hadith. And what does the hadith say? The hadith it says that Allah He hid the Adam, the right the right shoulder of Adam, and He created the white men from there, the white people, and then He hit the left shoulder of Adam, and He created the black people from there, and then Allah He says, the one who created from the right shoulder they go to heaven, which means the white. And the one who is created from the left shoulder, they are the black, and they will go to hell. What do you say? Okay. What's the grade of the hadith? Sorry, what? What is the grade of the hadith? What is the grade? I don't know. You give it a grade. What do you think? Remember, I told you before. What? you? What you I want? said, you know, hadith have different grades. Some of them are authentic. Some of them are fabricated. Some of them are weak. So it depends mm. on the grade of the hadith. Where where is this hadith from? Who collected it? Mm. So uh, is it is it going to be make a difference for you, or you will say to me it's a lie? It doesn't matter what I say. Yeah, because some hadith are fabricated, some are weak. Mm. Okay. Let us see. Let me let me find you the hadith. So we can. I mean, you know this too. I mean, you're supposed to. You're supposed to know this. So I don't know why you act like you don't. You don't understand this. Here we go. This is the hadith, Jami al Turmudi. And this is your Muslim website, my friend. Do you see the screen? Do you see? Um, do you see the screen? I don't. I will have to switch screens if I was able to mm. see. If I'm going to see that. Um, hold on a second. Mm. Guys, is the screen coming clear for you from your side in YouTube? Okay. Is can you see the text clear? All right. Can you read it, my friend? Yeah, I see it. I see it. Okay, wonderful. So what do you want to say to us? Why your prophet is saying such a thing? Do you believe really in what it says? Okay. Again, I'm going to return to the same question. What is the grade of the hadith? My friend, you find the great. I don't know. You tell me. If you want to bring it, you know what? You know what would be easy. It would be easy for you since since yeah. you're not a yeah. Since you're not a. Isn't a it? Isn't it? Isn't it? A Turmuzi is one of the books of Sahih. But Turmuzi has many weak hadith. My friend, uh, hadith my, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. The Sahih books, the authentic books for the Sunni, the the, the major one, there are six books, and a Turmuzi is one of them. Do you agree? So the only two hadith collections that all of the hadith in the collection is Sahih is Bukhari well, well, Muslim. Then why you call it Sahih if it's not Sahih? The, well, if you read the title of the book, it my does friend, not my say friend, sahih. no problem, no problem. If you're free to prove it to be wrong, no problem. But now, this is the hadith written in your book. You can prove it to me not to be wrong, not to be accurate. No problem. Take your time and do it. Here we go. I'm waiting for you. For me, I believe this hadith is authentic. And I believe your prophet is telling the truth about what he think it is the truth, which means he is being honest and he is not lying, but he for sure he's fabricating a story, which means he is not lying about how much he hate the black people and how much he liked the white people to the point he claimed that all white people would go to heaven and all black people would go to hell. And that's why he said to Bilal that why did I hear your footsteps ahead of me in paradise because he hates black people so well, much. He fooled him. He wanted him to die for him. Bilal, Muhammad, he died and Bilal is still a slave. If, if Muhammad, he so loved. Bilal, so, 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 Bilal so why, my friend, my friend, so why your prophet did not free Bilal from slavery? He did. When? So you must not, you must not be a hello, good, uh, hello, no, 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 hello, no, 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 hello, no, 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 no. Show me when he, where he, he did. Okay, he told Abu Bakr to free to buy. Hello, uh, hello, food. hello, Can you hear me? hello. Yeah, I hear you. Show me. Okay, so he told Bilal. To hello, free. no. Show me. He told Abu Bakr. Uh, uh, no, to mm, 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 no. No, oh, no, uh, 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 no, you have to show me, my friend. Don't tell me he told you. Uh, show me what it says. I accuse you to be a liar. I accuse you officially to be certified liar. Show me where it says that Muhammad, he ordered Abu Bakr to free him. 
Okay, if you read the Sira, the biography. Brother, of Sira, show me. You'll see it. Well, I'm not. I'm not going to, you know, go into this right now. Because <laughs> okay, we go. We go to, back to this hadith here. We go back. About, we go back to this hadith. Do you agree with your prophet saying that the white men, the white people, they are created from the right shoulder of Adam? Yeah, this hadith is weak. Ah, you never even heard of this hadith before. Sec in a second, you know that it is weak. I mean, this is a miracle, guys. This is a miracle. The Muslim, he did not even go. Look, look, look. The guy did not even check, did not look anywhere. He don't even he never heard of this hadith before, and now he came to a decision that this is weak. So why don't you find first where it's an authentic hadith then? My friend, he show me here we go. This is your Muslim website. This is your Muslim website. Show me where it says in the Muslim website that this is a weak hadith. It doesn't say. Yeah, because you don't know how to grade the hadith. You're not a hadith scholar. Brother, if you can find me, the website here, any, this website, this Muslim yeah, website, brother, is if it? You can, if you can find me where any Muslim scholar mm -hmm. he said the hadith is, is authentic, then we'll, we'll have a discussion. At Turmudi himself, he said that, brother. Isn't it at Turmudi? He is collecting those things for you, and he considers it as his best choice of hadith okay. to collect. Why he collect this hadith if it's, it is, it's a lie? If it's a lie, why your scholar at Turmudi himself, he collected? What the point? Well, he didn't collect all the hadith on the basis that there was strong hadith. Ah, he the hadith so he collect all the garbage in the street. He, well, co he collect even lies. You are saying to me that you Muslims, you collect lies about your prophet, even if it's a lie and you know it's a lie, correct? That's not quite what I said. Use what you said. It says he is collecting, you know, but he don't check if it's true or not, right? Okay, let me ask, let me ask you a question. Do you think that God has sperm? God has a sperm? No, I don't believe God has a sperm. Because that that would be even more ridiculous than than what you're trying to say that that, yeah. that we're claiming. Okay, sure, no problem. Okay, so if God does not have a sperm, then can you please explain to me how is Jesus the Son of God? Thank you very much, guys. Did you did you see what he just did himself? He just to prove Islam to be false again because can you explain to me why Jesus never get married and why Jesus have no father and why he is not coming from a sperm? I asked you a simple question. How is well, you prove to Jesus me that he have a sperm. Okay, can you prove to me that Jesus he was uh, uh, generating sperm? Can you show me? Can you prove to me? I'm sorry. I don't think you answered my question. You see, I answered I you. I answered you. I said God does not have a sperm. He does not need a sperm because he's not, he's, not, he's not giving birth to babies by having sex. Okay, do, do the Christian, so my so friend. So do the Christian. So do the Christian and the Muslims believe that God have sex with Mary and this is why Mary gave birth to a person. His name is Jesus. Of course not. Of so, course not. So why you are saying that? Here we so go. Otherwise, you, because you know, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. For Jesus to be, for Jesus to be, a, you for, you, for you, for you, for you, for you, for you to say such a question, you have to give me a reference. You can base your your, your question on. Do you have reference? Because you claim that Jesus is a son of God. That's why I'm asking you. So what? How is he so what? Son of God? God so what? No sperm. Okay, are you saying, are you saying because we say he is a son of God, that necessarily means he have a sperm? What does that mean? Is that, are you saying that God he have sex with Mary? Hello? You want to call a friend? <laughs> Abdul, call a friend. Call Hello? a friend. You, 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 you. Are you are you saying? Are you claiming that the Christian believe that God has sex with Mary and they have a son? His name is Jesus. I didn't say that. I'm asking you to explain to me. I just how... explained to you the God for us, the who, the one who come in earth. We call him the Son of God. As an example, when we say when Jesus Himself, He called Himself the Son of a man. But you Muslims and we Christian, we believe that Jesus is a son of no man. So what does mean son of man? That's mean that he is coming to you in the form of a man, as simple as that. Is he the son of God or no? Yes, he is yes. son of God. Yes, that's mean God, God in earth, God in earth in the form of a man is called the son of God. As simple as that. But this doesn't mean that God has sex because you are connecting the word son of God with him having God having a sperm. Okay, and that is so a very what makes him 
So what makes him the son of God then? Very simple question. Because he, he came to us and born of a man, born, born of a, a form of a man, and that is calling him, that is giving him the name or the title of being the son of God, the same time son of a man, because he came to us as a man. And Adam, did he not come to us as a man as well? But Adam is not of God, is he? Uh, that's what I'm asking. What's the difference? I mean, a lot the different is Adam, the different is that Jesus. The, the different is that Jesus. When we say Jesus, we mean that the Word of God who became a man. And as you know, the Quran says and confirmed that Jesus, he created the mud. He made it from the mud, the creation of a bird, and then he breathed into it, and he make it a flying bird creature. So Jesus is creator, and that creator, he came to us in the form of a man. And he was approving himself, even in the Quran, witness for that, saying that Jesus can create the same as God can do. If I ask you right now, why Jesus can create but Allah cannot, what you will say? First of all, Jesus cannot create, only Allah can create. My friend, this is the lie. The Quran witness that Jesus, he creates from the mother bird. I don't want you to switch a, switch the topic though, because we're talking about him. Being I'm not switching God. the topic. Now, you are Adam, the one. How, you are, how you is are the Adam one. The you are the God. one who jumped from the sperm of Adam of the backbone and the ribs of the woman, and because then when you claim, and then we spoke when you claim about Adam. Jesus is the son of God. My he friend, has, there's, there's my no friend, my friend, my friend. You need to explain to me. Okay, who is the one who made Mary Britain? Allah, of course. Thank you very much, guys. Did you hear this? The one who made Mary Bretnet is God. Okay, if who is the one who made your mother Bretnet with my respect to her? Your father, right? Allah, Allah, yes, Allah. Allah, Allah made your mother Bretnet or, or or father or your father. Allah, Allah is the creator of everyone. My friend, don't be, don't don't lie. The one who made your mother Bretnet is Allah, not your father. Allah, because some people are still and they can't have get lost. <laughs> he called me to prove to me that God has no sperm and now he's saying that his God is the one who made his mother Britain not his father unbelievable <laughs> so your father was doing what he was watching porn your God, he get inside the bedroom. He had sex with your mother. He made her pregnant, and your father was watching porn. He had nothing to do with it. No wonder you look like Allah, man. I mean, I was wondering where I saw you before, where I saw you before, where I saw you before, and I could not figure out. But now I remember. Obviously, you are the son of Allah. It is Allah who made your father. Uh, Hello? Yes. It is Allah who made your mother Britnet or your father. Do you hear me? Is it Allah who made yeah. your mother Britnet or your father? So it's Allah who makes everyone pregnant. This is not the question. Did your dad sleep with your mother and make her Britnet or it was Allah? Yes, yes, of course. Who? Yes, who? Who is the one who slept with your so, mother? Uh, yeah, anyone, anyone who comes into this life nowadays comes by the process of a male having a relationship with a female okay. and okay. him impregnating her. Okay, I asked you, who is the one who made Mary Britnet? You said God. I asked you, who is the one who made your mother Britnet? You said God. Yes. But you just said now, anyone he come in this life now, he is coming from sexual relationship. Let me get you yeah, busted, he, my friend. My friend, you so do not know. You methods. do not he know what methods. are you talking about. You are just a kid like the rest of you. I'm not insulting you. I will prove it to you in a second. Have you ever heard a verse in the Quran? It says, Yes. What that verse mean? So did you used to be Muslim? Did you hear this verse before? You said yes. No, I'm asking, you before? My friend, I'm just curious. what that verse mean? What does that mean? I don't know. What does the translation say? You told me. You told me you know. I, I'm sure you don't even know what verse I'm talking about. You told me you know it. I'm sure you do not know. So all your listeners are English speakers. My friend, my things. friend, you told me. I told you the verse. You said, I know it. You said, I know it. Okay, which verse is that? Which chapter is that? 
I don't know off the top of my head. So why you are saying to me, I know it? Because I've heard of it before. Okay, as long as you heard of it, what it does mean? I don't have the translation next you to You don't me, have so a I'm translation, but you said, I know it. Yeah, I've heard of it before. So how you were able to know it, but you do not know it? I've heard the verse in Arabic, but I don't have the translation. You heard the verse in Arabic, but you do not speak Arabic, but you said to me, I know it. Okay, and what's your point? How you say I know it, but you never, you do not know what I'm talking about. So you're going to stick on this? No, I'm asking you, why you said I know it when you don't know it? Uh, I think I do know it. So what's your point? As long as you think you know it, so tell me what it is. I'm listening. I'm sorry, what's the question? What the question? I mean, this is amazing. Guys, what is the question? The verse I just quoted for you in Arabic, you said you know it. What does that verse mean? Well, I don't know the English translation of it right now. I don't have Give me any it. translation you wish. You can speak Hebrew because all of you Muslims, you know Hebrew. Uh, uh, Muhammad Hijab, he taught us that Elijah means God is with us. And we learned that from him. So teach us. You said you know it. So who do you think won the debate? I, I think for sure Muhammad Hijabi won the debate. It was it was the most beautiful debate ever. He said that to God he prayed. Do you agree with him? So why don't you have the Do you agree with him? Do you agree with Muhammad Hijab saying that Allah he prayed for, not two? Do you agree with him? Say yes. If you be a man and say yes. Why don't you have the courage? Be a man, be a man. You are the hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Be a man, be a man and say yes. I agree with him that Allah he pray for, he don't pray to. Be a man, say it. I'm not gonna say that. Say because you know that your your hijab was a donkey. That's why you don't want to say it because this is would be. No, not necessarily. So why? Okay, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Then say agree I with him because you no, said you no, said no, you no, said no, he no, won. No, you said no. you said he won the debate. Then say okay, I agree with him in what he said. Say it. Say I agree that Allah he pray for he don't pray to. Well, he could very well be right, but I'm blah, 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 blah. Okay, we we go back to zero. We go back to zero. The Quran in chapter could you, could you answer, could you Abdul, Abdul, that, Abdul, that Abdul, Abdul, answer, Abdul, Abdul. Is, in chapter twenty-five, how is it, let me give how you. Is it the, how is it the Holy Spirit doesn't know? Listen, listen, know the hour? listen, listen, listen. Don't change the topic. You are jumping like a monkey. Chapter twenty-five, verse number fifty-four. It says, "وَهُوَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ مِنَ الْمَاءِ بَشَرَ فَجَعَلَهُ نَسَبًا وَصِيرًا." Do you know what does that mean? I gave you the chapter nine, number. Nine, no, not in TV with the English translation. Okay, I gave you the chapter number, verse number. Looked it. Why are you so afraid to read me the English translation? That's all I asked for. I'm so afraid. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay, this is the English translation. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, read it to me. What do you read to you? I mean, what do you do here? So, I, do you think I am wa your waiter or something? You read it. You are the Muslim. This is your God I talking. I can't switch screens on my phone that easy. Uh, okay. My English is not good. This is the problem. Okay. I will read it for you in Zakarnaic English. Brother Titter, the Quran said in chapter 25, verse number 34, it said, It is he who created you from water. And he had appointed him for him a kinder from the blood of the kindred of the marriage. For the be the Lord of the, the powerful. Okay. Here we go. We speak to you in English. And don't tell me you don't understand Zakarnaic. This is the best scholar ever. What do you say? Okay, uh, what's the problem with the ayah? I don't, I don't understand what you're Do you know what the problem with this ayah? This ayah teaching, if you go to the interpretation, you will see it says you can have sex with your daughter if she is a daughter out of marriage. I don't know where you learn Arabic from. Where you, what translation are you reading this from? Well, this is Yusuf Ali. You have to do some very some very thorough twisting of the eye to get that type of meaning. My friend, I can prove That's, it. Do you want to challenge me? Do you want to? Do you, 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 yeah. you, 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 you want to challenge me? If I show you the interpretation, it says that. Sure, go ahead. All right. I hate it when a Muslim he challenges me because always I cannot prove that I am telling the truth. Hold on. <clears throat> I mean, I, 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 I thought you will not ask me for a challenge, and you will not do that. Okay. Hmm. Let us go. And see the interpretation, my friend.
All right. I want you, I want you, my friend, to switch and look at my screen. Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Hello? Hello? Uh, I don't see anything. Okay, look at my screen. Look at the screen. Open YouTube. Look at the screen. This is Tafsir al Qurtari. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Tafsir al Qurtari, page number 264. Chapter 25, verse number 54. It says here that it's allowed for a Muslim man to have sex with the mother and the daughter he have from that mother because she is not his daughter from marriage. So if she is not a daughter from marriage, therefore she is a daughter from adultery. Therefore, she is not forbidden for she is not considered to be a daughter for Islam only consider a daughter to be a daughter if she is a daughter from marriage. Therefore, you can have sex with the mother and your daughter from your blood. And this is the teaching of Allah. And he is saying, this is according to the most accurate opinion of the deen, the religion, the most accurate. And this is what all the scholars agree upon. What do you say? Um, well, so basically, a man is forbidden to marry, obviously, his mother. His daughter, mm -hmm. his sister, mm -hmm. his aunt, right. uh, all of these are forbidden mm. relationships mm. by by the text of the Quran and the Hadith. Mm -hmm. And that's clear. There's no... Yeah, but the problem, my no friend, the problem, the problem, you are not listening. It's forbidden for you. They are saying here, it's forbidden for you to marry your mother and your daughter. But if the daughter, she is a daughter from adultery, she is not considered to be your daughter. Therefore... She is not forbidden and doesn't go under the chapter of Anisa where it says it's forbidden for you. And this is the explanation. So because she is not a daughter from marriage and Islam does not consider a daughter or a son out of the marriage as a son or a daughter. This is why a Muslim, you can go and search right now, all of you, that if you are a daughter or a son from adultery, which means you are not for marriage, you are not allowed to inherit the name of the father, the money of the father, child support of the father and nothing of the father because Islam does not consider you a son or a daughter. Is that correct? So in a situation where I think this is what you're trying to say, correct me if I'm wrong. So you're trying to say if uh, if a man is married to a to his to his wife and she has and she commits adultery and brings no 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 no, no 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 he 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 committed adultery he he slept with someone let us say you have a girlfriend not a wife and you slept uh -huh. with her she get a breath net and she deliver a baby girl according to this because she is not considered in islam as a daughter for you because she is not a daughter of marriage in islam only children from marriage are to be considered children so there is no, no relationship. That's not true. Even if you have a daughter out of out of wedlock, she's my friend. My friend, if I prove to you that this is a true, what you will do? It's in the front of you. I mean, are you saying yeah, to me it's not a true? It's in the front yes. of you. Listen, Abdul, I have no time for kids. It's in the front of you. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. This is Tafsir al Qurtubi, page number two six four, and this is the chapter twenty five, verse number fifty four. And you are saying to me it's not true. I'm saying it's definitely not true. Well, prove me wrong then. Okay, go. Show me reference. Go ahead. I'm listening. Okay, show me any Quran <laughs> or any hadith. Where... Let, let your dad call me, please. Come on. Show me any ayah. I just show you an ayah, you idiot. Show me an ayah. So what we did here. We were cooking shish kebab. Don't call me. No, don't call me. Let your parents call me. I want your parents. I insist. Show me. You remind me of hijab, he said to David Wood. Show me. Silence me. Like a joker. Show me. Bring him to me. I will make him my shish kebab, the coward, the potato. He's making mockery of our brother because he was polite. Even you, you coward, you did not agree with him when he said he pray, Allah he pray for. Because you know he was making poo poo. That's why you say I don't agree with him.
We love this debate between David Wood and Muhammad Hijab, brother. Especially when Hijab he said, "So if I spit, if I spit, if I spit, I am God." <laughs> what? <laughs> the guy he accused you a very serious accusation that you Muslims you collect the spat of your prophet and you wipe your face with it. And you said to him, so, so, okay, now, okay, spit, so spit, make me God. Yes, make me God. Otherwise, why you are collecting the spit of your prophet? You want echo? Yeah, the Muslims, they like echo. You know, long time ago, when Pal Talk was a very popular program, you go to any Islamic room. You enter this chat room, you will hear this. All of them, they buy, they don't buy actually, it's hacked software. They don't buy software in the Middle East. Brother, sister, sister, sisters, in the name of Allah, Allah, the most merciful, merciful, merciful. And he's calling me again, again, again. Look like he did not learn his lesson. Why you are calling me, calling me, calling me? What's wrong with you, with you, with you? Are you okay? okay. Yeah, did you hang up on me or something? Yeah, because you are a kid. I'm showing you the, 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 the proof in the front of you and you say, show me. So what so we did, have, so what is Al-Qurtubi? Al-Qurtubi is not, I did not show you, is Al-Qurtubi is a Christian priest? Listen, Listen. I don't care. Is Al-Qurtubi a Christian priest? Is Al-Qurtubi Christian prince or he is a Muslim scholar? A Muslim scholar, of course. So he said that, why you are saying to me, show me? Silence me, show me. He does not say that in the Quran or any hadith. Don't call me again. Don't call me again. Either you speak like an adult. Don't call me again. I will block you. If you call me one more time, I will block you. I have no time for kids. I want people who have a brain of an adult. I don't want to speak to kids. You saw you say to me, show me, and I'm showing you, you idiot. Anyone can go right now and search in Google and you will find that a, a son of adultery or a daughter of adultery in Islam, they cannot inherit. They cannot inherit the father name. They cannot inherit the father uh, uh, property. Why? Because they are not considered to be children. And this is exactly what your official government of Saudi Arabia website saying. And this is Tafsir al qurtubi and this is page number 2364. And by the way, he's not the only one saying that. And this is why he's saying this is this is fi al fi din. This is the most accurate opinion. Don't call me, man. Let me block you. Look like you are a potato. Let your parents call me. I have no time for kids. Do we have any brave Muslim would like to call us? A real Muslim, not a kid. No, I have no time for kids, seriously. I mean, come on. I debate adult from the age of six and over. Like Aisha, she was an adult, and this is why she was mature. And Muslim, they say, oh, brother, at that time, at that time, Women, they got so hot in a very early age, brother. <laughs> this is the true. This is the true, brother. You walk in the Middle East, brother, you might find a bunch of girls at the age of seven trying to kidnap you and rape you, brother. This is true. Yeah, Aisha, she was very hot, very hot at the age of six years old. I mean, come on. Hello, hello, it's me you are looking for. Unbelievable, what a stupid religion. Give him another chance. My friend, <clears throat> nobody is patient as I am, trust me. You don't know how much time I wasted of my life speaking about this garbage. So don't tell me give him a chance.
I give nobody can give them a chance as if you put my yourself in my place you will lose your mind after five minutes <laughs> because you will notice how they how they change the topic so fast like monkeys it's like chasing a monkey in a big tree there's no topic in the topic look he called me we spoke about something look where we end and look where we became and each time we show him something he said it at the drew it is not at the drew not what not the drew this is the bread that not the drew it's in the front of me show me show me silence me hmm? this is why those potatoes they don't debate me you see they go and they look for people who have a blue eyes American you are not really American there's a sheikh from the Philippines uh, he was challenging the Christians who is the Christian when they beat us why the Christian cannot stand for us why the Christian don't have answers for us like this guy he is a bright like you know so I sent him I said okay okay take it easy man you're so strong I will do it with you the second I said to him that this guy disappear we chased him we contacted him in Facebook even we called him at home at home we called his he have his phone number by the way he posts his phone number says I challenge you silence me call me <laughs> silence me <laughs> call me <laughs> oh boy <laughs> <laughs> show me your face show me your face where is the video of call me silence me let me find it for you hold on um. <laughs> Okay. You see, you, you want you want to be known by people. That's why you want to debate me. He said to me. And you did, me did you hear this? Did you hear this? Hold, hold, hold. He said. You want to be known. You want to, to be known. This is why you want to debate me. I want to be known. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> he was so excited challenging the Christians to debate him. The second we called him at home, look what he said. You, you, want, you want to be known by people. That's why you want to debate me. And you accuse me of a lot of bad things. If you're a Christian, if you are Christian, if you're a good Christian, you will be you do you will not be like this. You accuse me a lot of things. See guys, if you are like Christian Prince, you are the good Christian. But they make fun of you 24 hours, seven days a week for believing in Jesus as God. The second you start spanking you, spanking them, they say to you, You are not a good Christian. You are not a good Christian. But you are making fun of the Christians. Day and night. You, you see what I'm talking about? They make fun of you non-stop for being a Christian. The second you start spanking them, they say to you, you are not Christian. Yeah, Hindu. Why? I'm not doing this for money, my brand. How come you're <laughs> accusing me of everything? Nobody accusing you nothing. You, you want to debate? Yeah, no, no, you accuse me. I, I read, I read. I, if someone send me your your uh, message, hmm? what, why didn't you, you answer? Me of, hmm? Why didn't you answer? How can I? How can I? Answer? You, 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 you. Hello. I debated an American here. Hello. You want to? You want to see it? I'm not. I debated a true Hello. American, born American. Hello. Yes. Are you a Muslim, my friend? Yeah. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm you. I'm all right. What do you want to say to us? 
Mm -hmm. Why you hang up? That's a very long conversation. Okay, we continue with the Abdul then. What we can do. Guys, did uh -huh. you, did you hear what he you, said? I debated, I debated real American. Real American not like you. See, the debate, they, they, they want to debate only people who they are blonde with the blue eyes. Not like me. I have like a rainbow on my eyes. Unbelievable. Because I'm a black, blonde, African American from Japan, which moved from the Caribbean islands. And he is the one who discovered the chest, the heart, in the movie, if you remember, brother. He debated a real American. A real American. I mean, One Piece, are you sure? Yes, I debated real American. Not like you. American here. Why didn't you answer? How can I? But how can I ask? Look, show, look, look, look. look I look. have debated an American here. You want to you want to see it? I'm not. I debated a true American. True American. Born American. I'm born American. Huh? Unlike you, you're not American. You're not. I, 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 because you have, an, you have an accent. You have an accent. Well, okay. why, why don't you want to <laughs> debate Christian <laughs> Prince? I, I will debate you. My condition is I want to see your ugly face first. You want to see my ugly face first? <laughs> you see, they make all kind of excuses. And brother, I am not trying away. I even debated a true American. Yes, brother, true American. You want to see it, brother? A true American who have blue eyes and he's blonde. Are you blue eyes and blonde? No. See? <laughs> I feel sorry for you. You are not a qualified, brother, to debate me. Secondly, in order to be qualified to debate me, you have to show me your ugly face. What a bunch of potatoes. True American? What does that mean? Mahmata Gandhi? <laughs> and you are trying to debate me because you want to be known. The guy, nobody heard of him. I am I, will, I am the one who will be known. Potato. Potato, potato, potato. Potato, potato, potato. Tomato, potato, potato. By the way, <clears throat> There's a song in YouTube. It's called Potato Song. I used to play that as an anthem for the Muslims because they are fit perfectly with that song. They are lions when they think that you know nothing. They are lions when they see you alone try to intimidate you. The second they see they are no match, they hide. They go under the blanket. Who is a brave Muslim? He want to tell us something good about his cult. When you're a prophet, he said that Allah created the white men and the white people to go to heaven. And the black people to go to heaven. How ugly Islam is to say such a thing. How we can believe in such a garbage. People, they go to hell and heaven based on the color. Allah created the man, the man, the white man from the right shoulder and he created the black from the left shoulder. That is the most disgusting religion. And they lie and they say, oh, Islam made for everybody, for black people too. There's no racist religion as much as Islam. This is why nobody is allowed to enter the heaven of Allah unless Allah, he made him pure black. You have to be pure black to enter the heaven of Allah. You have to get rid of being pure black. You have to be pure white, I mean. This is why if you watch the Dean show, they have a they have a, a video. It's called the description of paradise. I mean, I wish I can play it for you, but they have copyright over it. I will make you die laughing watching that video. The guy in the video, brother, brother, the heaven of Allah, nobody can describe the heaven of Allah. The Quran says nothing like it. 
And now, brother, let me describe for you the heaven of Allah. You idiot. You just said nobody can describe the heaven of Allah. And now you are saying, let me describe for you the heaven of Allah. <laughs> I mean, intelligence these days became real. Truly real. Hello? <clears throat> yes, Christian Prince. Sorry. my inter I was having problem with my internet. <laughs> no problem. What do you want to say to us, my friend? Mr. Uh, Mr. Ibrahim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You are a Muslim, and, right? Uh, I have listened. I have listened to you for a very long time. You know. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you say that uh, Muslim and Christian cannot be friends, I did not say that. The Quran says that. Okay. I'm not the one. I, I I wish I can take you as a friend. Why not? I'm not against taking anyone as a friend. It's good to have a friends, right? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah, I know. But the Quran says you cannot take a Christians and friend and Jews as a friend. Chapter five, verse fifty-one. Yeah. Can, can you read it? In, you know, I I am originally from Sierra Leone. Okay. It is West Africa. All right. Yeah, I am a Muslim, but I went to a Christian school. Okay. I I did my primary school and my secondary school. Mm -hmm. You know, so in Sierra Leone, you know, we don't have that like. Uh, you, I cannot take you as a friend because you are a Christian or you are a Muslim. No, it's not like that. Yeah, but because this it's is not, not this is not because Islam teaching you not not to be a friend. I mean, they teach to be a friend, but because you are not following Islam, you are just a person being a, a good person, you know. But if you follow Islam, the true Islam, you cannot take. Christians I'm following as a Islam. I, I fast. I pray five times a day. Okay, so how? Okay, how you how you would do? Now you say to me, you have you are saying to me you have a Christian friends, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How you explain to me the Quran chapter 5 verse 51 says take not Christians and Jews as a friends? I, I don't know about that, you know, I don't know about that. Well, why you do not know? You said you pray, you don't read your Quran? Yeah, I pray. I, I you know, I just look, you know, because I list me, Leone, for example, you know, 70% of the people in Sierra Leone are Muslim. 30% hmm. are Christians. Okay. Our president, you know, we don't, we don't have like that, you know, in Sierra Leone that, oh, because you are a Christian, I cannot take you as a friend. We don't have we have that religious tolerance in Sierra Leone. No, nope, that's good. That's wonderful, that's my friend. That's not the question. That's not the thing. The thing is, obviously, thanks God that you Muslim there are not following Islam because this is not Islam. You are Muslim. People are Islam. following Islam. People pray, you know, Ramadan. Yeah, but still, you know, but, still I, but still, but still, my friend, this is not Islam. Islam is to do what the Prophet said, not only pray. You have to do what the Prophet said. The Prophet says you need to fight the Christians, the Jews. And you have to force them to pay jizya. Yeah, yeah, maybe it is during his time. You no, know? no, 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 no. Your prophet, he confirmed that this is something will happen until the judgment day. Even your prophet, he says that time will come and the the, the, the Muslims will kill the Jews, and then when a Jew uh, will hide behind a tree or a rock, the tree and the rock will speak and say, "Hey, there is a there is a there is a Jew behind me. Kill him." Do you have any uh, evidence for that? Any? Sure, no problem. Uh, I'm here. I'm here just to provide evidence, my friend. This is what I do for a living, actually. You know, like once I I was hired in a job, and the job is to provide evidence. You believe it? I mean, it's hard to believe, right? But this, this is what I do. What I can do. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> can you see my screen? Oh. Did I hurt you or something? Okay, read with me carefully, please. <clears throat> hold down, hold down. You, you're wait, a prophet. Wait, wait. Hmm. Hold down, hold down. Press some press. Okay, I'm holding. Yeah. Okay. The Allah Apostle said the hour will not yeah. be established until you fight the Jews. And the stone behind which a Jew will be hiding will say, almost then there is a Jew behind me, kill him. So kill him. Do you see it? Yeah. And this is yeah, Sahih Bukhari. I, I see. This is Sahih Bukhari. This is, not about, this is not about a certain time. It's about, you know, you have the Jews and the Christians. They are your enemy at the judgment day, and you have to kill them all. You have to kill them. There's no question. Uh, even, no, even no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I will never kill somebody. No. My friend, hate in front of you. Am I? Am I making things up? <laughs> no, no, no. You, you, you have provided evidence. I am seeing it. Okay. But 
I cannot do that, you know? I cannot do that. Okay, you cannot do that, but uh, as long as you are following Muhammad, you have to do that. <laughs> so how you want to follow Muhammad? How you, wanna, how you are a Muslim, but you don't want to do that? I mean, that means you are not a Muslim. No, I have to take the good and you know I you know I have I have a brain you know okay so I you are saying to me are you saying to me that Muhammad is a bad person and you are a good person so you believe in Islam but you don't want to follow Muhammad Muhammad is a bad man but you know you know you know this hadith I have had you know even my 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 my, my one some of my Muslim friends mm. they, 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 they said that this hadith we are written after 200 years after my, after my, the my friend the my friend the Quran you have is written uh, uh, after the hadith what, what, what do you do you know where in the Quran is written but what yeah. do you have the Quran no, no, with I, you do you have the Quran with you no I don't have the Quran okay with me here. if you have the Quran what? in Arabic there is a page it's called page a Page okay. A, it says, "Had al Quran, qad sutra or kutiba, according to it's written or made according to the recitation of Hafs, according to recitation of Asim, according to, according to, according to, according to, according to, according to Muhammad. It is a recitation, my friend. It's not even a book. You don't have a book. So if you will not accept." The hadith for it's written 200 years 260 years after muhammad then you should not accept the quran because the quran is the same muhammad never left a book for you you don't, you don't have the, the book of uthman where is the book of uthman you don't have you have recitation people claim that this is a recitation of uthman and not only that the muslims accuse hafs the one you recite the quran from him to be a fraud this is why all the hadith of hafs is rejected how you accuse the guy to be a fraud and he's a liar to the point we cannot accept his hadith but you accept his Quran so you have no hadith you have no Quran you have nothing it's the same and by the way in case you do not know maybe maybe you do not know that the Quran is a hadith don't you know that I don't know you know I don't know about that you know yeah the Quran my I, friend. Have, I have to ask I have to ask my Imam you know why you don't ask your Imam to call me my friend I, I will do that. I will do that. Right. I, will, I will. Because I will, I will tell him. Yeah. Because I don't have the knowledge to 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 answer your. You know, when you are talking to answer, you know, I don't have that knowledge. You know. I so, I, I would like I would like to encourage you to ask all the imams in your country to call me so we can have a nice conversation with people who knows what they are talking about. And I have a surprise for you that you will notice right away that the imam who claimed to be an imam he do not know what he's talking about. You want to bet? I assure you from now before your imam call I don't even know who is he you yourself you will see that the one who claimed to be a sheikh he know nothing he no, have no, no idea then then I had <coughs> yesterday I, I, I listened to your program and I heard that you said that Muhammad was a racist I said what uh, Muhammad the prophet was you know he, he doesn't like black people Yes, you don't like black people. Absolutely. Let me show you a hadith here as an example. Do you know that Muhammad he said, "Kill any animal is black." Do you know what aswad and bahim mean? Black. We are, yeah. we are black. Aswad, aswad mean black. Bahim mean pure black. Muhammad he made it clear that you kill anyone is a pure black. Black, you know, like black people, you know, like black people. Okay, hold on, hold on, my friend. If if Muhammad respect the black people, he should not discriminate animals by their colors because that is a stupid. Don't you agree? But for example, if I'm a I'm a black man, and sometimes when some something happen in my family, they will say you are. It is just like I don't know what to say, how to to express that. They will, they, they will say like you are the black sheep in our family. It doesn't mean that. No, no, no. Trying... This is not about no. I I know this is like a. This is a, a like a language thing, but here it's about a really black. This is not a metaphorical meaning, my friend. Read with me, he says here as an example, Allah Apostle order us to kill the dogs, and we carried mm -hmm. out the orders. Muhammad he hit dogs, and the, uh, the 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 reason for that is very simple to explain. Dogs they can sense a bad person. They have a special energy. They can sense you. So Muhammad he hit dogs. There's no question about that. He ordered them to kill all the dogs. People they start complaining. 
that we need dogs. We cannot live without dogs. Remember, I mean, we are talking about Muhammad who lived 1400 years ago, right? Even yeah. now, even now, if you live in the desert, you need a dog for protection for your animals, for you, correct? You cannot live without a dog. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So exactly. when he ordered them to kill the dog, this was a crazy order, mad order. Cannot be a, an order from a man. He have a brain, but because he hate them, always when they see him, they go crazy. So he ordered to kill the dogs, and then the Muslim they start carrying out the killing. But the woman she complained that I have a garden, you know, that he, he guard my house. Why you want to kill my dogs? Then the prophet he changed the decision and he said, Okay, well, kill all dogs except the one is in duty, and for sure you kill the one, the one who is jet black, which means pure black. Aswadun Bahim. Do you see it in the front of your screen? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What kind? And look what he said. He said it is the devil. Do you agree that the black dog is the devil? No. Okay, so Muhammad cannot be a prophet, then he's lying. Because you being black, I am being white, does not make you a devil, does not make you an make me an angel. Mm. Right? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. yeah. So you as a you as an African person, Islam is the last religion to be considered for you. I mean, this is the most disgusting racist religion. How you can believe in that? If Muhammad is the one who says this, and it's confirmed to be Sahih, how you can mm, believe that this guy is a prophet of God? He cannot be. What kind of a prophet of God he says such a thing? He isn't he's a pure, you know. I mean, okay, you see dogs, dogs. If the dog is, is a bad dog, kill him. There's dogs who they are sick, we kill them, right? Any animal, yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter what animal is, if he is a harmful, dangerous, uh, you know, he is a, a risk, you know, uh, his existence. Okay, we kill him, no problem. But just to kill him just because he is a dog and he is a black. I mean, they ask they ask Muhammad, uh, uh, like the narrator report that uh, one uh, uh, like someone asked okay what is the difference between a black dog and a yellow dog and white dog he said the black mm -hmm. dog is the devil that's crazy and there's no way do you show this experience do i what do you do you show that the prophet said that okay let me show you here we go. okay hold on here we go do you see a hate in front of you this is Sahih Muslim. This is authentic, authentic hadith. Is it Bukhari? It is Sahih Muslim. I can show. I can look for different roles. No problem. This is Sahih Muslim, which is equal to Al Bukhari. Anyway, the Messenger okay. of Allah said, "When any one of you sends for prayer, and there is a thing between him equal to the black, uh, to the back of the sandal that covers him, in the case there is not before him, all this word means nothing. Then he says he claimed that there's uh, things will 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 disturb your prayer." And he claimed it is a dog, it is a, a donkey, and it is a woman. And look what he said. He said, your prayer will be cut off by passing of an ass, a woman, and black dog. And imagine, Muhammad is considering women equal to dogs and donkeys. Do you want that to your mother, my friend, with my respect to her? Do you accept that? No, 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 no. See? No. This is not cannot be a prophet of God. Why my mother is equal to a dog and a donkey? No way. My mother, no, the one who no. brought me to life, the one who take care of me, she is between mm. a dog and a donkey and she's equal to them. She's an animal. That's what he's saying. And then he said, I said, oh, a bother. What feature is there in the black dog which distinguish it from the red dog and the yellow dog? He said, oh, son of my brother, I ask messenger of Allah as you are asking me, which means the same question, what distinguished the yellow dog or the white dog from red dog or yellow dog from the black dog? He said, and he said, the black dog is a devil. Do you see it? Yeah, yeah. I'm not making things up. What kind yeah. of a prophet you would say that? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I have I have heard your, your side. I'm going to ask my imam, so anything, I'll get back on to you. All right, my friend. I am happy to, to hear you. You are, you are a very nice person, gentleman. And I'm sure you are from a good family. I can tell. I can feel it in your voice. I feel energy of people. You are from a nice family and from good people too. And I am so happy that you're in your country. You don't discriminate with people because of their religion. Oh. I encourage you to stay this way. 
and not to listen to Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Because the, the second you start listening to Muhammad, you will be an evil person, I guarantee you. Right now, you are just a Muslim by name. You think that if you pray to Allah, you are a Muslim. You are, you are not. Mm -hmm. You are not. Because Muhammad, he, Islam is something, and what many people think or do is something else. They think they are. You see, the only true Islam in the world is either Al-Qaeda, ISIS, Taliban, Saudi Arabia. The rest are not. Even Saudi Arabia is not practicing, maybe let us say 70% of the true Islam. Mm. When you see a Muslim, he don't mind to give equal right to non-Muslims, that's against Islam. The Quran says mm. that, not the Hadith. You know? It's all mm. over. I, I, have, I have a question again. Sure. I, I, uh, uh, I watched. Have you watched this uh, the 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 Quranic geography by Don Gibson? Have you watched that? I don't know what are you talking about. I don't have time really to watch things. I, I watched one documentary about you know. Uh, no, uh, let no. Are you Let's are you talking about about the uh, the person who said that uh, the Kaaba is not the Kaaba? It is in Petra. Yeah, precise exactly. Well, it's very Have possible, by the way. It's very possible. In the beginning, actually, me myself, I reject that. I made even a video about it. I reject what he was saying because I heard it from different person. I heard it from a person. His name is Jay Smith, but he did not present it in the correct way. Or let us say, he has summaries of the presentation. He did not give all the information. So in the beginning, I rejected that. But then, after thinking carefully, the guy he is making a lot of sense. And actually, if you go right now in the Quran, what is the name of Mecca, my friend? What? What is the name of Mecca? It's funny to say to you that, right? What is the name of Mecca? You will say to me, it's Mecca, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You see, there is a temple is exist in Yemen. It's called the Temple of Mecca. Mecca. Uh -huh. Mecca is simply you see you remember the Muslim they said to you that the Arab there is the Quran came in seven letters Yeah, okay. What does that mean? It's mean like in this dialect. Let us say I say K you say Qa. You know what I mean? So Mecca mm -hmm. became Mecca You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's exactly the same word yeah. same letter. So but it's just a way to pronounce it so Mecca is not the Mecca obviously the one the Muslims they have now it is the temple of Mecca, which is the temple of the moon. It is in Yemen. And this was one of the biggest temple exist in the Middle East. And it was built by the Sabian. The Sabian, they claim that they were able to convert all this territory into Sabian, including even the Pharaoh. They believe he, is, he was a Sabian. So the temple, this is why you, if you go to the Kaaba, you will see they have uh, uh, a corner in the Kaaba it's called the Yemeni corner have you ever heard of that yeah I have yeah okay I have if you it. look at the Yemeni corner let me see if I can find some pictures for you so you can look with me if you look at the Yemeni Kaaba you will see there is some rocks they don't fit with the Kaaba let me look for pictures El Rokin El Yemeni Okay, this is a Rokin al Yemeni. I, I let me show it to you on the screen so you can see with me, my friend. By the way, I'm really happy to talk to you. Uh, I, I love really people from Africa. I believe they are wonderful people, and they face a lot of discrimination for no, no, or, uh, you know, uh, no real reason. It's just uh, you know people they've been taught to discriminate each other through history. Uh, uh, look with me on the screen, my friend. Mm -hmm. Do you see this? Do you see the corner? Yeah. Okay. You will notice that there is some rocks they don't fit with the rest of the rocks in the color too. This is called the Yemeni corner. The Yemeni corner. Mm -hmm. Why it's called Yemeni? Yemeni mean Yemen. Yemen. Mm -hmm. Simply, mm -hmm. when they build, if you if you go and read history, you will find that the Arab they have at least twenty six Kaaba in the Arabian Peninsula. Twenty six, not one. Every town they have a Kaaba. And when they build the Kaaba, I don't know if you heard like some Christians, when they want to build the church, they bring a bones of somebody he they consider to be saint, which means a very good man. 
good Christian mm -hmm. who, 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 who gave his life uh, to God. So they bring his uh, bones and they build in the top of it. Here they are doing the same but different because they are worshiping, they are, they are, they are stones people. So what they do, they bring stones from Yemen from the temple of Al Makkah and they add it to the Kaaba. Why? Because people they used to go to Al Makkah, which is Mecca, to touch those stones. Those, those are holy stones. So now we bring the stones for you. You do not need to go there. It's like saying to you, okay, I'm going to carry the Kaaba and bring it to you if you live in uh, Sierra Leone. You know what I mean? Mm. So why you want to mm. go all the way to Saudi Arabia? Here we go. It's here in town. So they, they bring the stones from the temple of the moon they place it there and then people they touch it and that will make it legitimate for them here we go the stones are coming from that temple this is the biggest temple but it's the same as long as we have the stones here from the temple that's that's fine and this is why your prophet he said that if you touch this corner and you touch the black stone which is the vagina stone if you touch them both allah erase your sin you know that this is my first time here in that Christian Prince. Well, when you talk to Christian Prince, you will learn a lot, my friend. What I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Just have some tea with me and you will learn something. A lot a lot of things, I guarantee you. You know, everywhere I go, wherever I go, it doesn't matter I'm talking about what or who, the uh, people, they will say to me the same. This is the first time I hear this. This is the first time I, uh, you know, etc. So it's not a new for me. But this is not the problem, all right? The problem is yeah. they told you that Muhammad he is a person who worshiped God But yet he believed that black stones and the Yemeni corner which is from the temple of Makkah If you touch them your sin is forgiven. Do you see the the, the hadith? Yeah, the, yeah, okay. but, yeah. What, what is the name of that hadith? Is it Sahih? It is, Muslim it, this one is Hassan, but we can show you more reference. No problem. I mean this is Sunan I'm gonna take it to my this yeah. is Sunan and Nisa'i uh, mm -hmm. Hadith number 2919 and this is the hadith Muhammad is saying it clearly that if you wipe your hands over those rocks Allah so it doesn't say even Allah your sin is forgiven and you have to circumambulate around it seven times I mean it obviously this is fiction right seven times what would happen if I circulate around the Kaaba seven times and touch the stone my sin is forgiven that's madness Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How they told you that Islam is not a pagan religion and Muhammad he destroyed the idols, but yet he kisses stones, he believes in stones, and he believes touching stones will forgive your sin. Yeah, man, uh, as I said, uh, go on, yeah. My friend, I, I invite you, I invite you to, 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 to uh, to think about my offer for you is to leave Islam. Islam is not from God. Islam is a false cult. Nothing in this, in the, gonna, nothing in this I'm religion. Gonna, I'm gonna think true. about it. I'm gonna think about. I'm gonna uh, try to verify it to my, you know. All right, my friend. Uh, I'm gonna take everything that you have said. Oh no, said. no, my friend. I'm gonna take my friend, to my... I encourage you to verify everything I say to you. But as you see, I'm showing it in this. Yeah, group. yeah. This yeah, is not yeah. my website. This is yeah. not my website. No? This is sooner that I'm gonna verify. This is sunnah.com. This is not my website. This is a very Muslim Sunni website paid by the Muslims. Mm. Right? Mm. And you yeah. can check the books. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I will be happy, my uh, friend. Thank you. I will I'll be happy you that you learned from me. Thank you for talking to me. You're welcome. I will be happy mm. to see you making mm. a right decision that this is not a religion for you. And I will be happy to hear from you next time calling me and confirming that everything I said, it was a true. And I have a challenge for the Muslims. To call me yeah. and say to me you did lie, it's a challenge. I will, I will, I will, I will take him. I will, I will, I will make. He will come and talk to you. All right, my friend. I have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy to have Thank you. Thank you very much, Christian. I, I, I'm gonna call the Chris, a Christian King, King now, no Christian Prince. Christian King. <laughs> oh, okay, no, we have one King, my friend. I don't. I am the King. <laughs> you see, I am a Prince because I have the name of Christ. Which means I am a Christian prince. By him, I am a prince. I am a child of God. So I don't want to be king. The only king is our Lord, the Messiah. He is the King of Kings. And look what Muhammad, your prophet, he said about the King of Kings. He knew that the Christian believe in Jesus to be the King of Kings. 
Muhammad he said that the most name Allah he hate is the one who call himself king of kings which mean Allah he hate Jesus read with me carefully Sahih al-Bukhari I heard Allah Apostle saying Allah will hold the whole earth and he will say he is the king of king but then he says uh, so Allah claimed that he is the king of king which means he claimed to be Jesus all right and then mm. he he the most name he hate is the one who call himself king of king uh, let us see here we go do you see it yeah this is Sahih Muslim Islam is anti anti Christian anti Christ religion 100% Muhammad he just tried to fool you make you believe that he believe in a, in a Christ he believe in Mary and the and the and the birth of Jesus he believe in Musa he believe in Abraham but the fact is an evil cult oh yeah thank you very much once again you're welcome my friend. Oh, yeah thank you very much yeah bye all right take care take care bye bye thank you. Bye. very nice person very nice person you see i treat everyone differently speak to me honest be honest i respect you you want to play the devil with me i will smash you You will never win with me when you lie. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, my friend. How are you? Good, good. I just wanted to ask you something about Christianity. Uh, wh why you don't want to ask me about Islam? Just one minute. What is the curse of Ham? What is because that? you said Islam is a, a racist religion. Yeah. But I can prove to you that Christianity is also uh, Christianity is a racist religion. Okay, so, go ahead. Go ahead. Curse of him. What is that? What is that? It says black people were cursed to be black. What do you mean? Curse, because, uh, curse of what? What do you mean? Curse, curse of him. He cursed his son. He did not curse him because he's a black. He cursed him because no. he did something bad. No, no, because and then all his sons would be would turn into black. This is a prophecy about what will happen to him. It's not about black. Where it says he will be black? Show me. That's what it says. Well, show me. Read it for me. I'm going to read it for you. Go ahead. You read it for all me. All his no, read it for all me. his Go sons ahead. will be uh, servant. Would be servants and slaves. Okay. And so he is telling the future that he they will be. You know that they, they are going. He is prophesying about their future. He doesn't say they will be black or white. And it's about yeah, but if it's about Christian hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on if it's about being uh, a slave will the, the the white people they became slave too who so who told you that only black people they became slave they became they did well this yeah because because he is he is a prophesying he did not say you became black those are his kids those so are his head ham is a black man, my right? friend okay if i show you the same from your religion what you would do that allah he curse Allah he cursed this person and he made him a black but not the Bible doesn't say that you, you are claiming thing what if I show you that even Allah he cursed the black people from the beginning and he made them to go to hell what you would do also uh, there's something like don't change the topic you don't change the, hold on hold on don't change the topic example, what if I show you what they, don't so change the topic you fail to prove to me that it says there that you will be black because you are cursed this is false I can show you right now that it's your God who created the black to be black and he decided to go to hell since the beginning of time Okay, why are there so many Muslim civilizations that are black? Like because for example, they don't know, Mansa, Musa, they, don't know. they don't know my friend. They don't know they are they are they, they've been lied to here We go. This is Sunan at Tormudi Read it for me Go ahead. I'm listening I'm uh, the most wretched person in the sight of Allah What? Oh, no, no wait, wait. Okay, uh, Allah's messenger, mm. peace be upon him. Mm. Allah created Adam. Mm. He had to create him and struck his right so shoulder. Mm. White offspring, as if they were white ants, he struck the left so shoulder. Mm -hmm. Black, as if they were charcoal. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. For Paradise, and I do not mind. Mm. For Hell, I do not mind. Mm. And? So is this uh, Sahih? Like, yeah, where do you get this? Sah- this is Sahih at Turmudi. Let me take a but snapshot but... because it's dancing. The page is dancing. Hold on. This website, this is Muslim website, keep dancing, moving. They have a script in it, so it keep dancing. Let me let me take a snapshot. Hold on. Okay. So Allah, He created here the black people from the left shoulder of Adam, and He said, "Okay, all black, all the one who created from the left shoulder, they will go to hell." And He created all the white people from the right shoulder, and He said, "Okay, the white from the right shoulder, and they go to heaven." And you notice here, your God, He choose the left and the right. You see, in religion, meaning the left shoulder mean the bad. Yeah, and the the uh, the right shoulder, uh, because always in Islam the right mean right, right, and left mean bad. This is religious. I don't uh, take from Sahih uh, Tirmidhi. Though I don't like, I don't believe what he's talking about. Well, it says that, my friend. This is Sahih Tirmidhi, and this is so Sahih Tirmidhi is one of the uh, authentic books on on for the Sunni. Aren't you a Sunni? Uh, actually, I'm a Sufi. It, it, Sunni is a Sufi. Look like you do not know what I'm talking about. Who told you that Sunni are not Sufi and Sufi are not Sunni? You're funny. Now, listen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the hadith in the front. The hadith in the front of you, my friend. Okay. It says it clearly that Adam, how Allah created mankind from the beginning, He decided that the white people they are created from the uh, uh, the right shoulder of Adam and. He Allah he decide he said okay and those white people they will go to heaven and I don't care as you see uh, that, that, that doesn't make sense at all I, I know I, I agree with you it doesn't make sense it's stupid you are right this is really stupid and then he says he struck his left shoulder and there emitted from it the black of spring and they were like charcoal very black then he said those who had been emitted from the right shoulder go to paradise which mean all the white people who they are like white ants as you see here you know he described them as white ants very white and I don't care I don't mind then he said and those who they are from the uh, left shoulder emitted from okay. the left shoulder they go to so, hell, uh, and I don't mind so why did Allah's messenger say also that uh, Bilal is going to heaven and he's like he's fooling him he's you know step, okay, okay, okay hold on hold on you see most of them they keep saying the same if Muhammad if Muhammad is a good man do you think Muhammad he will keep Bilal as a slave no he wasn't a slave he was he, for free like he, he was just a muaddin who said that to you who, who said he was a slave he was never a slave uh, Bilal my friend all his life is uh, he's being a slave and Muhammad he died and instead he's a slave to the point after the death of Muhammad, uh, uh, Bilal he keep coming to uh, to Abu Bakr and keep saying yeah. to him, "If you bought me for the sake of Allah, well, release me for the sake of Allah. If you bought me for the sake of you, will keep me for the sake of you. Which one you bought me for?" So my friend, they lie to you. Muhammad, Muhammad did not release Bilal. Bilal he was begging for his freedom. They lied to him. They told him, "You will go to heaven." Okay, what I would do with heaven? Give me freedom now. Do you see yeah, the black orphanage? My friend, do, do you see the hadith? This is Sahih al Bukhari. Okay, yeah. Do you see the Sahih al Bukhari? If you have bought me for yourself, uh, but if you bought me for Allah's sake, you leave me. The guy is a freed slave. Okay. He's a freed slave. He's not. He's begging for it. <laughs> if he is a free, he will not say that. So they lied to no, him. Because, they lied to no, him. They told him. They told him you will go to heaven. You will, etc. Okay, okay, let me go to heaven. Here we go. You know, but how come you don't free me? Do Muhammad own slaves? Because he was my uh, friend. Depressed do Muhammad, how many slaves your prophet he own? There's no uh, married the Copt and all that. Like I don't know, like maybe a few. Why he own them if he is against slavery? Let us say few. Let us say only fifteen or fifty or seventy. Why he own them? Why he don't let them go? He he did. He married. Uh, he married the slaves. Who like but who? He married, uh, Mary the Copt. He didn't ever marry her. He never married her. Sophia. 
my friend Sophia he know he raped her he killed her husband he took her in the spot he raped her in the tent before even That's... they leave the town no 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 okay you want to challenge me are you willing to challenge me if I show it to you are you willing to leave Islam I, I wanted to get into another thing like uh, no, no 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 don't jump I don't like to jump no, no. I, I like if I say if we, if we we are we are adult we are men we are not a bunch okay, of kids. Yeah, yeah. Hmm? you lied though like you lied about history one time like I saw you lying about history so I just wanted to correct you on one okay topic well, uh, you can correct me after we finish this if I show you that your prophet he did rape Sophia what you will do okay let me correct that first and hmm. we can get into that okay correct go uh, ahead. guys he okay, is going uh, to correct me take a note okay Ethiopia hmm. is a Christian civilization right before like before Islam yeah Ethiopia and, was a Christian civilization and, and they they used to sell slaves hmm. from like minority tribes in Ethiopia and to the Arabs and so does Christianity allow that like to sell friend, slaves? let me let me yeah. help you more let me help you more uh, about a hundred years you, ago. You, you hold, you on, hold on hold on about, uh, hold on hold on hold on about a hundred years ago maybe 150 here in America I live in America people they used to own slaves but what does have to do with teaching of Jesus show me where Jesus he owned a slave he did not show me where Peter he owned a slave show me where Luke, he owned a slave. my friend you're a prophet he raped he killed he tortured he, he he kidnapped people he asked for ransom don't say to me this is a Christianity Jesus himself he never even owned a donkey not a slave Islam is against, my friend he's against where, where, where where it says Islam is against slavery where it says go and kill them and kidnap them or rape them they're captive not okay captive so who you would go so if they are captive okay hold on hold on are you saying to me in Islam you can own slaves only if they are captives only as a captive okay so who is who is Mary the Copt she was a captive uh, yeah she was a captive are you sure <laughs> my friend Mary the Copt and a bunch of Egyptian slaves were, were a gift from the ruler of Egypt to your prophet and he accepted and he raped them and he enslaved them and he never freed them oh well, he didn't rape them he didn't uh, Islam is against that okay, prove it to me okay prove it to me okay I'm, I'm listening to you you said you want to get me busted I am here to get busted and Sharia like Allah like even the rape is supposed to be killed really Okay, show me the punishment of rape in the Quran. Go ahead. What do you mean, like? Show me the punishment. Is... Show me the punishment of rape in the Quran. Uh, I'm not a scholar, but uh, like, I'll look into it. I'll look. I'll look into it. Hmm. You aren't a scholar. Okay. And suddenly you are a scholar. You called me to get me busted, but now you aren't a scholar. Look, let me ask you. There is, you know, there is a way for you to present Islam to me in a good way, and I will give you a chance. What is the proof that Islam is coming from the true God? What is the proof? Yeah, how you can prove to me? You see, I don't want to ask you about bad things about Islam. I want to, I want to give you a chance to prove to me that you know Muhammad was a prophet and Islam is from the true God. Forget about all the bad things we mentioned. Yeah, but how you can prove yeah. that to me? Go ahead. Okay. Uh... When you practice Islam, you mm. feel at peace. Mm. Uh, is that why? Is that why? In person? Is that why in Pakistan today a suicide bomber he killed more than fifty to sixty people? Is he's that not the real? Is not a real Muslim? Ah, look like this guy. He did not get the real the real electricity. You are getting the real electricity. So mm. Islam is against suicide. Too. Okay, my friend, was Uthman ibn Affan a real Muslim? Uthman ibn Affan. Mm. Yeah, of course. So why the Muslims killed him? They were Khawarij. Khawarij, you, you don't know what Khawarij is? I, I thought, I thought, the re, I thought Muslims, the second you are a Muslim, you know, you were, okay, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. How many of the Caliphate were killed? How many of the Caliphs? Hmm. Many. Uh, okay. Umar, Uthman, Ali, hmm. all, uh, most of them. Okay. You are a Muslim Sunni, correct? I, I guess so. Yeah. All right. I don't like to label myself. No problem. No problem. You Muslim Sunni, you follow the family of Muawiyah, Abu Sufyan. The family of Muawiyah, are they no, no, are are they are are they true Muslims? 
they're not. They, they were Nasibis. They were against. Uh, they used to curse at uh, Ali and. Ah, so you are a Shia. No, no, I'm not. So why are you are calling them Nasibi? Because I'm. Uh, I follow the true Islam. I don't like to follow label. Mm. I don't like to labelize myself. Okay, was was Ali a true Muslim? Yeah, he was. Did Ali burn Muslims? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Why he burned Muslim if he is a true Muslim? Because one of them said he was, uh, he was God. So you burn him alive? Uh, he said Ali was a God. So okay, it's not a, like, it's not about a person. He 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 uh, he uh, he burned a tribe or something like that with a huge number of people. He burned them alive. Why? Is that a true? Is that a true Islam? I, because they say to me that when ISIS they are burning people, this is not a true Islam. So Ali, he burned people by accident, out of anger. Ah, and by accident. He, he was not a good Muslim at that time. He was just angry. <laughs> people make mistakes. Ah, it's a mistake. Okay. Did your prophet say it, that if you don't come to pray on Friday, I'm always going to order? Uh, he, he's almost. He ordered his men. To bring wood and burn people inside their houses. It was a figure of speech. No. no. It was like my friend, you know, like how you get angry and then you friend, say something. Friend. Okay, you prove it to me. It was a figure of speech. Go ahead. I'm listening. Because they never did that. They never. Uh, yeah, they but because he is a, he is making a threat, he will, he will do it. He kill people. He slaughter people. He's a criminal. He do it. He will go. Ali, he did it. Okay, let us say Ali now he was angry. Did Ali was Ali Ali punished for the crime he committed? Is that a crime to burn people alive? Those guys were did something wrong? No problem. Now Ali he burned them, right? And you said you said this is wrong. It's the way he killed them that was wrong. Okay, no problem. Was he punished he for doing was he punished? Because if he is not following the teaching of Allah Messenger. Then he should be punished. Was he punished? He was admonished. He was okay. uh, given advice by Abu Bakr. But or, nobody, uh, but nobody punished him. No. Okay. Let me ask you: Did Abu Bakr he wage a war because some people did not pay him a money equal to a goat, small goat? Uh, Abu Bakr. Yeah. Uh, yeah okay so for the sake of a goat we are going to kill um, 80 100,000 people is that lawful in islam it's uh, not lawful i mean uh, so abu Bakr was a criminal look like all all the muslims are criminals here we go abu Bakr is a criminal ali is a criminal uthman is a criminal i mean all of you are criminals no no okay. human being did aisha did aisha wage a war against ali to kill him not to kill him to no to kill him what no what the people it's a say, war you know it's a war people... it's a war it's a war it's a war it is a no, war no, no. a war when we say there war people don't fight was hold on was it a war by sword or, or it was a war by words it was uh, a war it was a war by sword correct ali and no 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 this is a lie ali he defeated the aisha army and he captured Aisha and he sent her back home. He did not kill her. Is that correct? Yes, that, okay. that means was Aisha a bad person when she attacked Ali? She didn't attack him. She uh... what do you mean she did not attack him? She took an army, she lost it. Okay, can I give you an explanation? <laughs> my friend, my friend, did she take an army to attack Ali? Yes or no? No, no, not to attack Ali, to attack his army. Guys, not to attack Ali, to attack his army. So to kill Muslims, Aisha killing Muslims. Aren't they Muslims? Isn't it the they army of Ali? Ali? Isn't it the yeah. army of Ali? Present Ali and killing the army of Ali to to kill Ali. What what is the end of this? If I kill the army, army, my friend, my friend, army, I, 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 just just go. I have no time for kids. Thank you. It's not to kill Ali, to kill his army. I mean, you know. Taliban is attacking the 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 not to kill uh, uh, George Bush but to kill the American brother. Do you want to kill the American, not the George Bush? <laughs>
childless. It's like a, talking to kids. Literally, little babies. They are just still in the egg. They have no brain and they never use their brain. This is why the Muslim brain is a priceless. It's very expensive because it's never been used. Very, very expensive. Do we have any Abdul? Very expensive brain, brother. We are the smartest people in the world. We have a brain zero mileage, brand new. Still the wax on it. Since we have it until now, we never use it, brother. I mean, each time I talk to a Muslim, I try to find an, an intellect conversation. I try to find somebody, he, ha is he, he, he wanna use his brain. They don't want to use your brain. I mean, it's like your brain is going, taking a nap, long nap. If we look at the history of Islam, we will find that all Islam is 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 uh, uh, nothing about it, but but killing history of killing Muslims killing each other. All even the, even the Shia they accuse Aisha and Hafsa that they are the one who killed Muhammad by poison. Why they say that? Muhammad, he, he said that he was killed by poison. But Muhammad, he think that the one who killed him by poison is was it was the Jewish women. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari, as you see. Hello? No, but Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend. Hello? I hear you. Go ahead. Hello? Sorry? Yeah, good night. Good evening. Yeah, how you doing? I'm fine. Who, are you a Muslim? Sure, I am. Okay. So what do you want to say to us, Mr. Muslim? Yeah, I could, I could tell you that if somebody come with uh, with a caution, you have to let them to ask a caution, and then you deal with it. But you don't have to be cutting them off, you know. Sometimes these guys, they got some bright ideas I want to share with you that yourself you can learn from. You understand? So no, I my let friend, you I'm, I them. speak. Don't tell me. Don't tell me how to talk to people. That's number one. It's not polite of you. If you don't like the way I talk, don't call me. Secondly, well, I give the most, I give the Muslim a chance to talk to me. For at least 30 minutes if that is not enough for you to talk you tell me who is in the world he is doing live broadcast or even radio etc he will give you you call him live on air and he give you 30 or an hour to talk and then you complain because i cut you off no not that okay. you don't even give people because i call you before you don't give people even a minute to talk that's a, lie. Secondly, that's a lie. You, that's a lie. Secondly, that's a lie. Us, that's a lie. That is a lie. That is a lie. That is a lie. If you go, get, uh, no, no. You see, this is why I cut you off because you are a stupid and you are a kid. Don't call me again. If you have something to say, call me and tell me. All the Muslims that call me before, I spoke to them for a long time. You are a liar. We are here almost for how many hours, guys? Which one is the one I hang up on him after less than a minute? I did not give him a chance to talk. You are like a woman in the delivery room hoping to deliver her baby, but she is not a pregnant. Screaming, he's coming, he's coming. But there's no baby. You have gas. If you have something to say, call me back. But not to complain. You don't like what I do, don't call me. I challenge you to find me one Muslim who do what I do. To give me five minutes to talk. What a bunch of liars. I only hang up on you if you start acting like a kid. I show you the evidence. You go stubborn, then there is no need to talk. Go. Bye-bye. Let somebody else go. Everything I say, I show it in my screen. Have you ever seen me mentioning one thing I did not show the proof? So, like, if you remember when we have this guy, I say to him, it says shaitan, he says genie. I say shaitan, it says genie. Well, what we will talk about, that's it. It's in the front of us on the screen. <laughs> we are not kids. If you are a kid, go where you belong. 
either you speak to me as a mature person who have a brain in case you have one and you have to prove it to me because my experience with Muslims that they don't want to use their brain I invite anyone who is a Muslim after hearing us for all those hours if you are convinced that Islam is a false religion to call me and to denounce the devil to accept the Messiah and to refuse Muhammad there is no way a person like this he can be a prophet of God and by the way anyone notice what is the proof here that Jesus is God in this story from the hadith in front of us who noticed let us see who of you is really he have a special special uh, let us say intellect the story in the front of you have nothing to do with Jesus correct it does who want to tell me how this story proved to us that Jesus is the only true to follow him based on Islamic teaching anyone anyone get get uh, notice what I'm talking about there is something here very 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 bad very bad news for Muslims now oh, hold on you see don't the Muslim they say that Jesus he was saved by Allah don't they say that is that correct okay why Allah want to save Jesus but he don't want to save Muhammad here we go Muhammad dying by poison slowly very very painful death at least in the cross like in in a few hours and you are dead this person he is suffering for four years of the poison he ate in Khaybar. Very slow, painful death. Question, why Allah, he saved Jesus, according to the Quran, and Allah don't want to save Muhammad? Does that mean you Muslims believe that Jesus is important to Allah and Muhammad is no one? This is a question I challenge any Muslim to find an answer for it. Why Muhammad died like a rat by poison and Allah do nothing to save him? But yet, Allah will never let Jesus to be tortured. And now he is in heaven alive for thousands of years. And now Muhammad is dead in the grave for thousands of years. How that can be true? The proof that Jesus is the true one is in the front of you Muslims. Once a Muslim, he's an Egyptian. Two of them actually, I have a dinner with them. And the second they know that you are an Arab and you are a Christian, they cannot take it. He said to me, how how you believe? How you believe that Jesus is son of God? I said, what's wrong with that? He said, well, think, let's, let's think about it. If Jesus is the son of God, his father will not let him go and be in torture. The other guy who was with us on the table, he is an older guy, and he spoke to me before about religion, and he knew that there's no match. They cannot debate me about anything. They do not know I'm a Christian prince, by the way. I told him, you have you have a good point, actually. Yeah. So you are saying if Jesus is son of God, his father will not let him be tortured. He said, exactly. Absolutely. You are getting my point, right? I said, yeah, you are right. I mean, this makes sense. Then I said to him, so you are saying that you must believe that Jesus is the son of God. He said, what? He said, because according to your religion and according to your logic, if Jesus is the son of God, his father will save him. He said, yes. I said, well, Quran says that Allah, he saved him. He said, what? What? He said, isn't it you the one who said to me, if Jesus is a truly the son of God, there is no way his father will let him to be humiliated, torture, he will save him? He said, yeah. It's okay that's wonderful is it the Quran says that this is exactly what happened so you now you should become a Christian because you got the proof and you are the one who provide the proof to me 
the other older guy the egyptian guy he said to him i told you he hit him under the table with his shoe he said i told you don't go there i told you didn't use their brain i feel sometime when i talk to muslims i am coming from different galaxy they are a follower of people who believe that angels will be bothered by garlic hey angel I ate garlic today. Is that okay? No, we don't like garlic. Yeah, right. Garlic. We can defeat angels of God by garlic. Why? He is a vampire. Is he coming from Romania? Is he Dracula? I never heard of an angel of God. He is affected by garlic. What a crazy religion. Who of you today ate garlic? I mean, come on, guys. Don't do that. Don't do that to the angels of God. Garlic, shame on you. But garlic is very healthy. Do you know that if you eat garlic every day, most likely you will never have heart attack it's very good for the heart very good for the cholesterol very good for uh, you know to uh, to keep your blood in a very good health will will never have like a clot it's it's a very healthy thing it's a, a it's a perfect you know natural antibiotic what's wrong with garlic how i can be a muslim have you ever heard about a god and religion there's connection between the god and farting the second you say the name of allah shaitan he fought shaitan he fought hmm. that's amazing It must be true. Read with me carefully. When Satan, he hear the wisdom of Muhammad. Look what Jesus, he speak about, and look what Muhammad is talking about. Jesus is speaking about forgiving, being nice to everybody. If somebody asks for your coat, give him your dress. If somebody asks you to walk with him one step, walk with him 1,000. If somebody curse you, for pray for your enemy. And Muhammad is teaching now. Muhammad is giving us a special education. Muhammad, they have a PhD, by the way, in farting. When Satan hears the call to prayer, he turn his back. And look here, like he turned his back, like what? I mean, he didn't even fart only. He turned his back. I mean, this is, do, do you see the details? Uh, brothers and sisters, do you see the details? Shaitan, brother, before he fought, he don't just turn his, I mean, he don't just fart. He have to turn his back. And it's very logical. It must be true. I mean, look at the. Show, please show respect. Look at the details. He turned his back. Okay, prophet, what he do next? And he break wind. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, Muhammad, prophet, why, why, brother? He is breaking wind, brother. So he will not hear the call of the prayer, brother. This is very, very, very truthful, prophet. Tell us the truth. <laughs> if you are not convinced that this is a prophet of God, I mean, here we go, the proof in the front of you. This is a prophet of God. This is a prophet of God. This is the one you say he is the most intelligent, small. I mean, this is really astonishing. This is too much. 
Where Muhammad he got his knowledge about farting? Did he like go have a special education? How he knew that shaitan? I mean, how shaitan fart anyway? And by the way, Muslims today, you are using speakers. I mean, how in the world shaitan he can fart so he will not hear those powerful speakers? If you go, if you go to any Islamic city, huh, in the Middle East or in Pakistan, the speaker is so powerful. How you can how he, the poor guy, how much gas he have to now I know what is the reason of a global warming. I thought it is something else. <laughs> Global warming here. If every shaitan, by the way, Muslims believe in many shaitan. If every shaitan, every shaitan, he fought, and according to Muhammad, every human being, every every person, he have a shaitan with him. So now we have 1.4 billion Muslims, and the second they pray, Shaitan, he start farting, and you are wondering about the global warming. They are lying to us, saying it is cars, because they want to deny the science of the prophet. They don't want to tell us that the prophet is the first one who spoke about the global warming, and he warned us about it. Science. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Guys, did you enjoy your time with us? How many of you here is new? Do we have any new people here? We have almost 1,000. Sure, this is uh, scientific. What are you talking about? Islam, all of it is scientific. Okay, the one the new ones don't forget please to subscribe and tell your friends about what we do here. This is a free school, free education, and feel free to invite Muslims to debate me, and you be the judge and you be the witness, and you will find and you will see that no Muslims can debate us. Not a single one. They cry and they fly, and possibly they fart too. But they cannot debate as simple as that what do you think about any sharush i don't know any sharush i saw his debate once he's a good brother god bless him i do not know much about him where is the muslims want to debate us please Muslims are not my friends. No, you see, my, myself, I have no problem to take Muslims as a friends. But the problem is, I know the Quran. Quran says they are prevented from being friends to us. Otherwise, I have no problem to take from all kind of people in the world, all religion in the world, to have friends. Why not? The, 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 the Messiah, he ordered us to go and teach and preach. And you cannot preach to people if you believe them to be enemies. I don't want to take the Muslims as enemies. I don't hate the Muslims, and I will never hate them. Even Christ, he said, love your enemy. So we are not here to put the Muslims down. We are here to share the truth. And the one who shared the truth with you, it means he loves you. The person who wants your death is the one who lied to you. Imagine you are in an island, and the island have a volcano. Or let us say there's tsunami, and there's someone in the highway. He is giving details for people where they can escape, and he is giving them the wrong way where they will be drowned. We don't do that. We want the Muslim to be saved from the tsunami. It's coming. You believe in a false deity, false god, false prophet, teach you nothing but garbage. We risk our life to do what we are doing. This is not a funny joke for you. You think, maybe some of you think that we are a comedian here. We are not. It's very serious. People die because of it. A lot of people die every day. Go and check now how many people get killed in the name of Allah. Just today, a suicide attack in Pakistan. Against what? Against a mosque. 
Muslims killing Muslims because this cult is dangerous with the seed of hate in the heart of people so they go blind and they start killing and slaughtering even their own this is cannot be from God the Lord the Messiah he said bless those who spread peace Muhammad never was about peace actually Muhammad he said in the Quran that you should not cry for peace as long you are the uppermost it said to you Islam mean peace this is one of the lies by the way I advise you to get my books you can search on amazon.com and you can find my books which is going to show you what Islam mean with the proofs and reference as usual It doesn't matter what Amazon you are searching, Amazon Germany, France, dot com, whatever it is. Just type Christian Prince, you will see the list of my books. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, my friend. How are you? I'm fine. Are you a Muslim? Yes, I'm Muslim. That's I'm wonderful. Good. Can you give me a second, please? Just want to grab some water. Is that okay? Yes, no sure. problem. Okay, thanks. <clears throat> All right, my friend, go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Uh, yeah, you 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 you're looking for a Muslim just to debate. Yeah, sure. Actually, no, I don't want to debate. I'm scared to debate Muslims because they have they have a lot <laughs> of knowledge. So, my friend, what do you want to tell me? What do you want to tell me about your religion so I can learn something good from you? Tell me something good about Islam, not something bad. Okay, that's a good. That's a good start. That's a, that's a good start right. because uh, I I, I followed you uh, recently, mm -hmm. and uh, to be honest, you seem uh, to me a little bit too aggressive. Uh, to be honest, but okay, mm -hmm. you start on a good tone. Uh, you you want you 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 want me to tell me about my religion? Sure. You know, sometimes sometimes I understand in the in a debate you can you can be very heated. And you want to win arguments and everything, so it's better if you want to reach out to Muslims mm. or other faith. It's better, you know, just to have a dialogue with them. No yeah, problem. Talk about your religion. Talk about sure. your. Uh, My friend, let us not to waste time. Go ahead. I'm listening. Okay, just um, I'm just calling in, and I'm I'm just. You what know, do you want to tell I mean, me? Something good about Islam? I asked you. Can you see? Oh, something good. Yeah. Something good about Islam. Okay, something good about Islam. Uh, for example, um, what is good about Islam? Well, yeah, um, in our religion, uh, it's very, uh, uh, you know, we have the zakat, you know, the zakat, mm -hmm. uh, to give charity to, mm -hmm. to the poor. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's one of the one of the five pillars of the Islam. So mm -hmm. uh, it's, of course, uh, good. Also in your religion, uh, in Christianity, it's uh, also recommended to give uh, money to the poor and uh, and to help the needy, to help the neighbors and everything. So uh, that's one of the one of the things that I can say to you. What is good about Islam? You know what I mean. So okay, let me ask you a question. Yes. Uh, if a woman she is in the desert and uh, uh, I am in my camel and I saw a woman she is dying from hunger or thirst mm -hmm. and she met me in the desert she said please because you spoke about charity right yes uh, she said please save me I'm dying and he said to her I will not feed you unless you take off your panty is that mm -hmm. a Muslim teaching is, is, uh, is that what is that what charity is about uh, no, 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 that's not what a charity is about. Okay, Charities. well, there is a story where a woman, mm. a Muslim woman, yeah. she was in the desert, yes, and she met a man, she's yeah. dying, mm -hmm. and she said to him, You know, please give me some, some anything to eat, I'm dying. Okay, and the man he said, Well, why I want to give you the food to eat? He said, I'm dying. He said, mm -hmm. Well, if you 
take off your panty and you let me do it I will give you and the woman she okay. is dying I mean she had no choice so she did what he want oh, that's horrible. if you that's are horrible. a person who is in charge what you will do uh, who's in charge uh, if you you if you are a person if you are a person who is in charge if you are the person who this happened in the front of you what do you think about the man who did such a thing I will I will, um, I will uh, what do you think about it? Huh. I will think about it. it's a dis disgusting human being uh, he needs uh, he needs to purify himself and um, uh, I will, uh, but this is not a charity right this is obviously not charity of course not this is not charity no this is not the this is okay. not the, the, so, the, the but, but, this, but this is what Islam teaching you see when somebody says to me charity we teach uh, to do charity uh, yes. a charity uh, is a very flexible you know word people they can say whatever they want about it but yes. uh, uh, it cannot be charity if you are stealing the money from somebody else okay okay, okay. where is the yes. money where the money the Muslims they get to pay as a charity or zakat is coming from mm -hmm. uh, it's coming from the people itself no it's uh, coming so from the money stolen from the people around them as an example how many attack your prophet he did during his lifetime stealing money attacking caravan taking care of him. Hmm. taking care of him. um yeah. i let me see there were how can i say that hmm. um attacking caravans hmm. i don't think he he attacks caravans like that uh just without no i don't I, I don't know I don't know the, the history my behind, friend so you're I, a prophet he attack he did 27 attack all of it is about theft one of them the last one before he died he said attack the Romans so we can get the blonde girls do you agree with that that we should attack the Romans too so we can get the blonde girls no, that's, okay uh, I don't think I don't think the, the, the prophet uh, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. that's wonderful uh, but but if this is a true are you willing to say and to be honest sound like you're a decent man I like that are you willing to admit that this is evil um <laughs> you try, you're very you're a very smart guy you, you, you're mm -hmm. you're trying to to push me in a corner and uh you're very exp I can I can tell you're very experienced mm -hmm. in, in the way you talk with uh, especially with more Muslims and how you um you, you have a very good tactics I can I can give you a fact. my friend but, forget about my tactic if this is a true real, if this is a true what we will do if this is a true that your prophet yeah. is asking you to attack the neighbors so we can grab the blondie girls what is the solution about that what do you think about a man like this what I think about a man like that mm -hmm. okay okay if you if you're talking about in general a man like that a man like that is a horrible so man. Is, is it okay is it okay for a person I mean I mean is it, I, I, we are talking about ethic ethic is it about uh, who care about who is the man if me I do yes. that I'm a good guy for yes. you or evil guy you're an evil guy okay yes. if you do that if you attack the neighbors because they have a blondie girls are you evil or a bad or, or a good guy I'm evil okay thank of you course. very much I I you know you see I I don't really you, you told me I get heated with Muslims I, I get heated when they lie and you are a decent man I like that if we go in the Quran in the chapter uh, uh, in tafsir you can read any tafsir you want it doesn't matter really uh, this is the I'm, I'm showing you on the screen in front of me. I don't know if you can see my screen. Do you see it? Uh, wait, let me let me check if I um okay now wait um let me see. I can see a screen. No wait no no no. In chapter wait. chapter chapter nine verse number forty nine. Uh, speaking about a man who said to Muhammad, "Don't tempt me." Chapter nine, verse number forty-nine. Look at the screen. Look with me at the screen because I like to show you the evidence. I don't like to say things, you know. How can I open the screen? Let me see. Um, uh, do you watch, are you watching YouTube? Uh, yes, I watch YouTube. Also. Okay, look in YouTube. You will see it. Okay, look at in you. Look in YouTube. How can I open YouTube then? Okay, let me give you the link, my friend. Let me give you the link so you can open your tool from your side. Yes. 
click at the chat I'm going to send you a link in the chat please okay okay here we go don't but, but please mute mute YouTube so we will not have double sound mute it okay. open it you can see but you not you do not need to hear me from there you hear me from Skype only okay you, you don't hear me double right no no that's no, wonderful. Okay. okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. That's good. So you yeah, look with me on the screen. This is Tafsir al Tabari. This is a uh, variant number fourteen. This is yes, this yes. is Quran chapter nine, verse number forty-nine. And here the hadith number one six seven eight five. I'm highlighting for you so you can see with me. Yes. Is it coming for you? Yes, coming. But, okay, okay, that's yeah, wonderful. But, so, hadith but, number but, one six one six seven eight five. Hadathani yes. Muhammad ibn Umar. Hadathani Abu Asim. Hadathana Qal, etc. La 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 la. From 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 Mujahid. He said that Allah is or Allah he says then li ولا تفتني. Excuse me, don't tempt me. He said that the Prophet said. اغزو تبوك attack تبوك. Tabuk is a city now in the north of Saudi Arabia. تغنموا بنات الأصفر. You will win the daughters of the blonde and the women of the Roman and ونساء الروم. And then the guy, his name is Jad. He said to him, إذن لي إذن لنا ولا تفتن بنساء. Please excuse me. Don't seduce us by women. You agree, and I agree, both of us, just a minute ago, that if you do that and I do that, both of us we are evil. Correct? yes in general okay. yes no what in general here we go there's nothing it's called general and special this is ethic ethic is not made for one band ethic is made as yeah. to be an ethic so yeah. you're a prophet he's a prophet of god is asking you to attack the neighbor so we can get the blondie girls what do you want to say to your prophet after hearing this what, what's the quran uh, verse Let the, me quran see the quran verse quran. chapter 9 verse number 49 chapter 9 49 let me mm. let me get my quran let mm. me get my quran and let me just open my quran and then mm. in a second let me see chapter 9 mm -hmm. let me see what's, what's the quran? Okay. 9 49 eh? mm -hmm. okay let me see wait, wait a minute uh, okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> 49. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Give me a second. Thank you for your patience, because normally you don't have patience. Oh, no, nobody has patience as much as I do. <laughs> Trust me. I talk to Muslims for many, many hours. If you stay in my place, you will not have patience like me. Nine forty nine. Um Hmm. Toba, a Toba, so yeah. a Toba, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. Forty-nine is about. Okay, let me see for a second. A man, he said to him, "Don't put us in a trial. Don't tempt us by women." Yes, yes. Okay. okay. So and this is the interpretation made by you Muslims, not by me. Okay, wait. Give me. Let me. Let me check the content. Hmm. Hmm. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, it's about. Let me just. Let me just. Um, it's talking about. Okay, there, there was a war. And I now I see the context. That was a war, mm -hmm. but some 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 of the people just want to return. You know, just no, my friend, nobody fight. attack. Is this is they, they never there was no war yet. Muhammad now trying to convince them to go to war. He never have a war yet with the Roman yet. He's okay, trying to okay, convince okay. them to go and attack the Roman, and he's telling them why. Attack and get the women, get the blondie girls. Uh, that's not that's not here in the Quran. It's, My friend, says, the interpretation you see, I'm showing you your Islamic interpretation, not mine. I'm not the one who said that. And we can go to other interpretation. Not only this, you see. Do you know, do you know Arabic? Yeah, a little bit. A okay, little bit. that's wonderful. Does it say in front of you, or I'm lying? Does it say that in the front of your eyes? Um, look, interpretation. Look, interpretation. Let me show you. Let me show you. 
there's a book it's called the there's, 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 there's a book there's a book it's called the book of Asbab al Nazur. you heard of it mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I heard All of right. it. Yes, yes. That's we will good. go to the book of Asbab al Nazur, chapter 9, verse number 49. And let us see. Yes. Asbab al Nazur means the reason for the verses to come down. And this is a book made by you, Muslims, not by me. So you cannot tell me I'm making things up. And it's in English, which is good. And by the way, I don't agree with any Muslim translation because, with my respect to you, they lie a lot when they translate. But we will use it because we have no choice. Uh, people don't understand Arabic, so we have to use a translation sometime. This is the book of Asbab al Nazul. It says, One of them who has says, Grant me leave to stay home and tempt yes. me not. So obviously, Muhammad is trying to do what? Temptation. And you know, the word temptation is evil. Do you agree? Tempt me not. Uh, that is uh, Satan. Uh, Satan is the one who tempts, right? Yes, okay. Satan, tempt about what? Let us see. Read with me carefully. Uh, this is because when the Messenger of Allah blessed him and gave him peace, was preparing for the battle of the book. You see, there is the war. He is asking them to go on for war. He said to him, O oh Abu Wahab, would you not have uh, uh, scores the Byzantine women and men as a, as a companions and servants? <laughs> Do you see it? And then mm. he said to him, O oh, Messenger mm. of Allah, my people know I am not very fond of women. And if I see women of the Byzantine, by the way, it doesn't say that of the Byzantine, it says the blondie, the, the blondie, but not asfar. I fear I will not will be hold back. So don't tempt me. But Muhammad is tempting me already. He says, attack them and get the blondie girls. Ah, uh, now, 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 now it comes to my mind. I know uh -huh. what this uh, verse is talking about. Oh, I already, already, uh, as I'm a, I'm a student of uh, of the Quran. Mm -hmm. I, uh, um, now, now it's coming rings a bell to me. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, there was there was one of the 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 there was one of the the the, uh, the fighters in the team of uh, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the Prophet, mm -hmm. and he he was. He was how can I say it? He was a hypocrite. Mm. So what he what what he is trying to do mm. is trying to make up an excuse mm. because he, he he had a lame excuse. So he went to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mm. and he said, you know, uh, there are many uh, nice girls there, and maybe I will be tempted. My friend, girl. but it is your Prophet. It's your Prophet who said to him, attack the Roman and get the blondie girls. It's not the guy who mentioned the girls first. Your Prophet said. Attack the Roman and get the blondie girls. It's not the guy who said that as an excuse. It's your prophet who said, "Attack the Roman and get the blondie girls." Uh, but, uh, uh, okay, if I look at the verse forty-nine, okay, uh, it says, uh, "Um, he, uh, in 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 the prophet Muhammad didn't say that." Give me, uh, give me, um, no, my friend. You know, no, 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 you said you know Arabic, right? You said you know Arabic. Everybody heard you. Here we go, it's in the front of you. Let's, let me show you. Hold on, let me go back. Yeah, but Close some reference. No, no, it's in the front of us. We do not need to make up uh, stories. Please be honest. But I'm not I'm not no, explicit. my friend, be honest. Be honest. It's in the front of your eyes. Your prophet, he says, let me read for you in Arabic as long as you claim that you know Arabic. Yani, he saw a room. Do you see it? Translate to me what I just said for you. Again, sorry. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم اغزو تغنم بنات الأصفر يعني نساء الروم. Translate. Go ahead. Um, okay, you do not know Arabic then. Uh, you do not know Arabic. You don't. You do not need to act like you know. It's okay. Let, let it go. So he said, attack the Roman and get the blondie girls. And he meant the women of the Roman. It's in front of you. And then the guy, he said to him, don't tempt me. So who is tempting who? Muhammad is tempting them by women. He's attacking. He want to attack. He want to go for war. Not to spread Islam. He want to tell them, okay, let us go and get the girls. And even here in the book of Asbab al which I showed you in English, it says it clearly that, uh, uh, you know, Muhammad, he is asking them, don't you like to go and get women? To do to be your your uh, uh, like your your sex servant, <laughs> do you see it? 
to be your slave uh, uh, what I, he said I, to I, them I, let, let us say what he said to them he said oh Abu Wahab would you not like to to have source of Byzantine women and men as a concubine and servant he is not saying to them let us attack to spread Islam he's not saying to them let us attack them so they accept Allah no he's saying let us don't you like to attack them so you can get some women and men to be your slaves he is seducing them to go to war to get the blondie women and here, by the way, the translation is not being accurate. They are being hypocrite, as you see. In Arabic, it says it clearly. Attack the Roman and get the blonde girls. And you are the one who said, and me and you, we agreed. I hope you will you will stay with your word. You will not swallow it back, as usually Muslims do. You will accept to say again that whoever teach this, let us attack the neighbors so we can get the blonde women they have, is evil. Are you willing still to say the same, or now you swallow it? Okay. The thing is, number one, uh, the the, uh, the the one who, who said this and who do this, no matter what, is uh, is is very evil and has no morals. Mm -hmm. And uh, on day of judgment, day of judgment, he will uh, get. Uh, okay, well, the, the one who said that. that is your prophet. Okay, but the second, no, no, I'm not finished. The second thing is, mm -hmm. I don't believe the. Uh, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said this or did this. I don't believe it because uh, it says that, that uh, this is your book. Is that my book or I'm making things? Did I show the reference, my friend? You know, the thing is, my friend, my friend, um, my friend, be honest with me. Be honest with me. Do you think a Muslim he would dare to say such a thing that your prophet he said that and he will stay alive if he is lying about him? They will kill him. The Muslim they will kill him, correct? Um, if I live in Saudi Arabia right now and I say something will make Muhammad look ugly, do you think? They will let me stay alive for one second. No, you know that. Uh, I think you will. I think you will be uh, brought to justice in the court. I will be killed. I will be killed. You will be killed. Make it simple. Come on. Uh, let, us, uh, let, us, let, us, let us. Let us be honest. Let us be honest. You will be. You will be killed immediately, and you will find this is in all over the interpretation of the Quran, all over. It's not in one place. It's not in two place. It's all over. You know, attack the Roman. Here we go in front of us. When he saw a room, attack the Roman so you can get the blonde girls and the women of the Roman. Um, uh, coming back to Saudi Arabia, uh, Saudi Arabia, they have laws there. My friend, there's no law in Saudi Arabia. Don't tell me there's a law. The guy he just slaughtered the guy in the embassy. He cut him pieces. He made him shish kebab, and he is getting away with it because he is the son of the king. Don't tell me there's no law in Islam. Since when? When Aisha, she take all the money of the people and, and the wives, they don't take anything. The wives of Muhammad, they are wives. And still Aisha is the one who collect all the money. Where is the where is the law? Where is the justice? When Muhammad, he he you know he he he, he attacked people, he take their 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 land, he take their etc. And he says, Allah told me to take your land. I mean, where is the justice? This, this is a law. Don't tell me Islam in Islam there is no law. Let, let us not to change the topic. Did your prophet did you does it say that your prophet he said that or I'm making things up, my friend? Um, look, the Prophet, sallallahu my friend, you see, I hang up on Muslim when they try. I, I, I notice that playing games, and there's no place for me for games. I show my proof in front of you, and this is your book. This is not a Christian book, this but is this not is a not Jewish book. book. No, it's your book. It's your, it's your book. Are you saying those are not Muslims now? Um, look, what I'm what look, from? what look, my friend, don't, don't tell me, look, don't tell me, look, either you either you prove me wrong. Either you prove me wrong or you are not being honest. Now you notice, mm -hmm. now you mm -hmm. notice that this is this is not right, and your prophet sure. he is being exposed. So now you switch the mood of saying, okay, here we go. This is Zaydul Masir fi Amit Tafsir, the Ibn Jawzi. Do you know Ibn Jawzi? One of the biggest scars of Islam. <laughs> okay. Um, read with me carefully. Read with me carefully. Ya Jad, halaka fi jaladi bani al asfar, la halaka an taghnam. Hey, Jid, he said to the guy, can't you, can't you, can't you, can't you handle, can't you handle the, the, the Roman so we can get the blonde girls? I change the tafsir for you, just for you. Can I, can I, I can see a very experience in, uh, my friend, in this is not about being experienced. It's about, this is not about experience. No, this is about being honest and being knowledgeable. I, do do I speak of knowledge or I am I am making up a lie? Be honest. Am I speaking of knowledge or I'm making up stories? Um, um look. Don't tell me, look, answer me, please. Please respect me so I can respect you, please. 
Am so, I making so, up stories? Am I making up stories or I'm showing you the reference from your books? Are you making up stories? Yes. Uh, no, I mean, it's not in line with uh, uh, the, the way uh, Muslims... Uh, what the way? This is a, this is the scholar. This is a, this guy is not a scholar now. Ibn Jawzi is not a Muslim? But a scholar is not... Is, okay, take care. Say, take care. See, this is, why, this is when I hang up with Muslims. This is when I hang up with Muslims. Suddenly, the scholar is a poo, -poo. Ibn Jawzi, one of the biggest scholars of Islam, he is the blub blub scholar. Sorry. You see what you say me, you say to me, I don't have patience. All of the patience I gave you, trying to feed you like a baby. Because this is exactly what I am doing. You see, a person like me, who who know all the stories are repeated that the story thousands and thousands of times, still I give it to you slowly. I open your mouth. I give it to you bite by bite slowly kindly and nicely and then when I put it in your mouth and you test the evil of it you start saying oh uh, oh uh. but in the beginning just five minutes ago you told me whoever do this is evil you were sure but you never thought Muhammad is doing that so whoever do this absolutely is evil absolutely And just because this is will not make your prophet look good, so suddenly you go and start saying, "Oh, oh, 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 oh not all scholars." Oh, uh, yeah, well, uh, okay, uh huh, uh huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh You know, I mean, it's amazing how the Muslims they try to defend their prophet by uh, lying. It is, it is beyond imagination. We show it to them in Arabic, we show it to them in English. What is missing to show it to them in Urdu? We bring Zakir Naik. And yet Muslims, or you know, I saw a text of somebody in YouTube saying to me, Christian Prince, I, I think you should be nicer to Muslims. What, what nicer more than this? Put yourself in my place, speaking for many hours, Getting them busted one after one, and every one of them he call you just to lie. And you tell me you are nice now. You know that each time I speak, like rarely, rarely you will find a decent man, like the one who called from Sierra Leone. I can't tell he's a decent man. I did not hang up on him. He's being honest. I showed the the, the, the proof in the screen. You cannot deny it. You see, I am not a speaker corner who says, uh, the prophet, someone said, I'm showing you. I'm showing you. The, the website we are reading from now is the official government website of the King of Jordan. Who he claimed that he is a from, descendant from Muhammad, which is a lie. So my friend, Islam obviously is of the devil. There's no way a prophet of God, he says, let us attack the neighbors so we can get the women, the blondy girls. This, this person is devilish. He's evil. He's seeking war just to, to, to have some beautiful women. Seducing his men to go and die just for women. And this is exactly what he did. He promised them women in war. He promised them women in heaven. If you die, if you kill for me, Allah will give you 80,000 women. All of them, they have a brand new vagina. All of them, you can see through their bones. All of them, they are so white to the point they are transparent because he is racist. And he knew the Arab, they love to sleep with white women, not with the black women. This is Islam, my friend. Don't forget, please, to subscribe. And don't forget to inform your friends. Almost we do, almost every day, broadcast at 3.30 p.m. New York time. And as you see here, we have no mercy with liars. I have patient, yes. But I don't tolerate lies. I will get you busted. I have my Skype open for a reason. Because I am sure 
of being truthful and I'm being sure that I have knowledge and because I am sure that you Muslims don't dare to prove me wrong because you cannot I have my Skype open because I'm so sure none of you can prove me wrong you will not find any Muslim any scholar he will do that even if you go to Muslim chat rooms you will see they give them red dot which means nobody can even text because they are afraid that somebody will ask a question it is embarrassing when the Muslim they do a program in TV they have a questions already written pre-made the questions fake like you watch the show the guy he have a cell phone have you ever heard of a, a TV station they have a cell phone and even the phone doesn't ring he say hello yes brother aha uh -huh, brother aha uh -huh, brother uh, okay uh, okay brother aha uh -huh, brother okay brother okay but nobody is calling there's nobody there what, what about make it make us hear his voice there's a caller have you ever heard of a TV station the, the caller is calling we don't have a voice of him why because nobody is calling they have a question they write them before the programs they cannot go out of them because they have no knowledge the guy is asking himself a question he is the one who made the question and now I'm going to answer you and this is why I say to the Muslims who is the Muslim want to call me and ask me to ask him the question which he like and still they cannot do it how many time I said call me ask me to ask you the question you like me to ask you even that they cannot answer glory to the Lord his name is powerful and by him we are victorious I don't know how many Muslims today they will leave Islam but I know it that everybody everybody is listening and many Muslims they have a good heart they will hear it and they will find out that this guy is not lying this is the truth and my friend as my Lord the Messiah he said the truth will set you free it's not Muhammad will set you free it's not Allah will set you free Allah will make you slave when Allah he promised you virgins in the heaven he make you addicted to sex that is another form of slavery you are going to heaven to do what if joy is about having 70 years orgasm so what is jail labor is 70 years orgasm why why in the world there's a God he will made my orgasm 70 years I mean it doesn't work if it is like seven minutes <laughs> 70 years and the one is telling me is God the one who's saying that to me this is the teaching of God this God is a sick God you have a mental issue he cannot be God we are people who believe in the most amazing name who taught us holiness who taught us that his kingdom is a place of holiness when the Jews they speak about a woman who is going to have her in heaven he said he and she they will not get married in heaven they will be the same as angels many even Christian don't understand what does that mean exactly they think it's just Jesus speaking about we will not have sex no it's more than that you will be free you will be the same as angels you will not have needs of food and illness and you would not have needs of anything you will be free even from sex because sex is is a need you are made this way a man or a woman doesn't matter if a human being inside him he don't have a temptation or desire of sex then he will never think about it and then he will be free from one more, more thing which is sex so going in heaven the happiness the real happiness is different level of, of of happiness it's not about a belly it's not about a penis it's not about a private part muhammad because he have nothing to share have value so he concentrate in tempting your belly he promised you food have you ever heard of a god he all promised us an open buffet and the the, the all the meat there is made of bird
a river of wine, a river of honey, a river of milk. This is the God of temptation. He is tempting my stomach, tempting my private part. He is not promising me something good to be free. I want to be free from food. Why I want to, you know, isn't it will be wonderful if you have, imagine if you have a car, you can drive it unlimited. You do not need a fuel. In the heaven of Allah, I will be sex addicted, controlled by sex. Muhammad even he told them that he have the power of he will have the power of one hundred men in heaven, but people of heaven, Muhammad he said that the people of heaven they will have the power of forty men. That's mean he have the power of four thousand men in sex. What is that about? What is this obsession with sex? The promises of the gifts of the God of Muhammad proving to us he cannot be God. You do not need to be a genius to know. If I say to you, hey, you want to go with me to Las Vegas? There's a lot of hookers waiting for us. Women we never met. We never, women we do not even know their names. They are there to have sex with us. Isn't it evil? Isn't it obvious? There's nothing good there. Why a woman she will sleep with me? I don't know her. Allah will create 80,000 women I never met, I never saw, I don't even know their names. And all of them, which make it more funny and more stupid, all of them, they look exactly the same. Which is extremely stupid because what the point of having 80,000 women, all of them, they have the same height, the same eyes, the same voice, the same name, and they sing the same song. Sound like a Barbie store. Islam is a stupid religion and you have to have you have to be a person who is suffering from mental illness to believe in such a cult so I invite the Muslims to leave this cult and not to be sex addicted Muhammad he promised you to go and die for him but yet he was hiding he died at home the same as Osama bin Laden he, he, he taught 19 people to go and commit suicide, but he never commits suicide bombing. The same as Al-Zawahiri, he sent you to kill, but he is sitting home. They use you. I want to say thank you guys for being here. And may the Lord bless you. I hope we will meet maybe tomorrow again usually we are here every day almost almost i cannot promise you because god knows what will happen tomorrow but almost every day at 3 30 p.m new york time please tell your friends maybe like maybe tomorrow if i open maybe i open earlier because people are home already weekend time you know uh, i try to make a 3 30 so we can get people from europe and people from america to join us but maybe tomorrow we will do it a little bit earlier we will see if i can we will see if I can even be there because I'm almost every day here and it's really taking a lot of my time and I cannot even finish my books so I want to say thank you for being here may the Lord bless you and I hope the Muslims they learn something good for their benefit I'm not here to insult you even though you think so and I don't care if you think so this is not my point I'm not apologizing I love what I do I love bringing you out of this cult you don't like it this is your business it make you angry I understand but the truth have to be said and I am here to say the truth that there is no name to be worship but the Christ and no one to follow but the Messiah and no one better than him over this earth or in heaven he is the one he can save you and there's no other savior for him and by him everything was made and he loves us and we love him and he is the god of love because he said love your enemy we are here to save you muslims i hope and i pray that all of you will be saved until i see you tomorrow may the lord bless you Christ is Lord, Islam is false. I mean to that.
and see you soon again. Bye-bye.